Oh, I Oh yeah, I bet. Stuff that I had to go through to get this computer is <laughs> but it was good. Hello, Robert. Thank you so much for taking care of everybody while I was gone. I really well, the first the first game there weren't that many the, there weren't that many everybody's, but the second game was uh, most people showed up. Yeah, I guess they they uh, were out and about. I don't know. It's the summer. Who knows? Uh, we, we 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 decided we decided that uh, the next time you go off gallivanting and give me or someone else the controls, you make it a surprise and not tell anyone in advance. Yeah, nobody's allowed to. Know. <laughs> Hi, Lee. Surprise. How are you? Oh, fine. How's the llamas? No. <laughs> well, I lost one of my real old girls during that oh. real big heat spell. That's not fun, but you mm. know. And of course, they never. They never want to pass away close to the gate. They want to pass away as far away as possible. Oh. So, so it's fire, you know, well, it's fire up the tractor and go bring them up and, and call the rendering people. But, uh, yeah. Ew, no, that's not something I want to have to deal with. I mean, the, oh. well, I'm sorry. Well, like a friend of mine said, if you if you have livestock, sooner or later, you're going to have dead stock. That's I right. had to deal with that no. kind of stuff. I had to deal with that kind of stuff without having livestock uh, because deer, what? deer, deer yeah. would would be shot, not fatally wounded immediately, and crawl away and die like on the edges of my property, and they might be there for days until you noticed something smells bad. <laughs> oh, that's awful! You guys are horrible. You well, you know, it's it's you know, you know what you like, say to that. I, right? I go outside and there's buzzards circling, you know, vultures circling <laughs> around, and you're going like, huh. You know, hey, Adrian. What's going on with Adrian? I'm pointing at her. Yeah, you know, Lee, I don't <laughs> think so. It's okay. not what I do. All right, well, we'll tell He's happy probably stories. probably enjoying this. My, little, my little baby's having, you know, growing up and getting fun. Oh, yeah. Your little okay. vanilla thing. Vanilla. Yeah. The circle the of life. Vanilla latte. Are you going to sing, Carl? Huh? Are you, who was it who no. was going to sing? I will not be singing the circle of life. The circle, the circle of life. No, thank you. I liked the new Lion King, the live action one, but I didn't like that they didn't play Elton John's version. Wait, oh, a new really? one? They had somebody else record it. Like, there's, a new, you do there's that? a new Lion King live action. Oh, like six, seven years ago. It's not brand new, but oh. uh, it was yeah, live action. And and the first the first segment where they show some, it was like scene for scene done brilliantly. And, wow. and my wife had just come back from Africa, so it was like per pertinent to see all those animals. Like, you know, it was really good. Did she look at them all and say, I know that? I know yes. That. You know, I, I think half the people on this call right now have had articles published in the Skeptical Inquirer. They'll publish anybody, you know? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> yeah, you're famous. Oh, it's I so know. Isn't that exciting? Well, hers is actually in print. And that, I kudos to you because... That takes forever, you know? Oh, my God. The number of times I had to redo the citations. Holy crap. I I'm not, <laughs> I do not have the patience for that anymore. I don't know. You should have sent it to me, Adrian. I've had three things published in there, and no one ever sent anything back. It just got published immediately. I don't know. Maybe the editors okay. well, part have, of the it, editor has changed. Things have changed. I don't know. I got weird. one of the center spots. That's why. That's weird. She's like <laughs> a centerfold. <laughs> ah, well, that's, well, that's next month. Part of it was because it says right on their website, and Kenny Biddle told me this too, to try and keep it under 2,000 words. Oh, and you were too too long? So, no, I was 2,000 words. And then oh. they said, oh, can you add this? Oh, could you add something about this? What about this? Have you found anything about this? And then um, Cara Santa Maria was talking about the lucky girl syndrome. And I'm like, oh my God, that's the law of attraction again. And so I reached out to Stuart Vice and said, hey, can I add this bit? And he went, sure. Okay. So they they get that part of the reason like it took a long time is they actually were giving you more space and asking you to add right. more information. Yes. I had to keep adding more. And every time I added more, there were two or three more sources. And then I had to do the the citations again and citations oh my god it took me back to university i haven't done citations since university so. five pages you guys five yeah i know that pages. that's amazing i don't think any of mine were more than two yeah that's why it took so long and that's why you didn't get a bunch of revisions like adrian yeah. did. 
Because she's got well, they also didn't tell me to add things because they wanted mine to be real short. So yeah, my, they wanted mine longer. And they, they've are, one of the first things they said to me was, "We need more background information on on the two, the Esther and Jerry Hicks." And I had removed that information, like I had it in originally, and then I moved it out because I, I mean, the work to get it under two thousand words, that story was really hard. And then they once they said, "Yeah, we were interested." And this is what that was one of the things. So, I mean, that was not a problem. I had that all bookmarked and everything. And then they said, Hey, you know, there's this article with Ben Radford. It kind of fits in. Would he add that? And then I found stuff. And yeah, it was, it was just a, a long process of communication and nudging. And, and, uh, and then, you know, I would, I didn't do the page numbers for the actual quotes. So I had to go. That wasn't hard either. It was very, I had everything bookmarked that I'd used. So it was just a matter of finding that, but just little, little things like that, that I would miss with the citations. So, and, and adding information, as I say, I probably added 1500 words after the original submission. Wow. <laughs> well, I'm impressed. And it's a wonderful article. You did a oh, terrific well job. It's, it's, it's nicely done. You've got some photographs in there that look really good. I like the final photograph of, that you took from I was video. disappointed it's quite dark a lot bit darker than what is on my screen but that's okay it is nobody's gonna no they're not gonna know but no. it's it suits the end of the thing and the, the picture the picture of yourself is the picture you took of yourself it was I did I took that picture. myself because I needed a picture so I, I thought that okay. was hilarious here she is <laughs> the, she's also a photographer and then I I wish it I wish there had been room to say and you took your own photo yeah <laughs> oh mugshot is out mugshot is out trump's mugshot's out yeah i saw it already no, yeah i haven't seen it oh. <laughs> well, he's hey. giving the photographer the evil eye it's pretty funny going back to my my art so i have to say Jewel, shut up. one more thing sorry you just talk to jewel and say shut up i did because i want to finish this oh jewel <laughs> I'll give her a treat in a second. That'll shut I her up. A, I have a <laughs> question for a tech person. Okay, just hang on a sec, Vincent, because I, I really oh. want to get this out because my mom read the article today <laughs> and she was absolutely thrilled that she's mentioned in the article. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom is a type. Uh, was it about typing? Yeah. The thing oh, about I do remember that. Yeah. I read the article. I remember. <laughs> so there's nothing wrong with my brain cells. I can remember things. I just had to get that out because she was. She just texted me and she's like so thrilled that that she. Does it have her name in it or just no? The, just my mom. Start court reporter. Yeah, she was the court reporter. Yeah, yeah. And she, world's fastest typist. She 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 probably was the fastest in Canada anyway. It's nice that somebody in your family read your stuff. Nobody in my family ever reads or watches anything. <laughs> Rod, nobody nobody does kidding. in my family, and I've got two kids. No. My kids don't pay any attention to what anything. Is, what is it? You know, I had this conversation with Kenny about the exact same. I'm, I, All right. Vincent, what's you, up? They, what's up with really your computer, think... Vincent? Oh, I was just wondering, like, as I was looking at the um, uh, specs, and looking at the temperature, it goes up to like 65 degrees Celsius. And so I put the turbo on and the turbo um, activates the auxiliary fan in the back of the computer. And I'm just- computer that you have to control the temperature by I've controlling the fan? I've never heard of that. Like, it what? should just automatically go on. Did you build it yourself, what? Vincent? No, no, no. I got it from Best Buy. Like I still had to get the same computer from Best Buy, but uh, you didn't have to turn on I had about 20 computers in my life and never did I ever have to worry about the temperature and control the fan to control the temperature. That is bizarre. Well, because of the other two computers that I had, but I, I have a feeling it was a plug-in that I forgot to plug in when I changed the power unit. Because I had to change the power unit because the original computer and even the one that I got now, it's underpowered. It's 500 volts. 
What? Hopefully it's 500 watts. 500, yeah. 500 yeah. watts, I, no, I, I don't, say. I've never, I've never ever thought of any of this. What, 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 what are you I talking? mean, I had a 500 watt power unit on my machine that I built in 2000. Um, that sounds very underpowered, which could oh, be why your machine's getting really hot. Yeah, my, 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 PC takes, my PC takes 17 watts. I don't know what you guys are doing. <laughs> I don't yeah, have a clue no, how many watts I've never needed 17, to know. 17, I just yeah. checked it because I got I got a UPS that's plugged into that tells you what watts are being drawn. Wow. One Sterling seven. used to have to keep uh, Sterling had to get a computer and put a bigger fan. Global warming is your system. your fault, Vincent. Yeah, maybe. Blame, that's right. Know. That mountain oh, behind him used to be snow capped. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> by by oh, yeah. the way, Lee Lee, I have something for you. Hang on a moment. Let me just quickly share this. Oh. You have competition in New Jersey. I was shopping and I passed the car and this was its license plate. Alpacas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's funny. You're all the way in New Jersey? Holy moly. He's a Jersey boy. boy. He's driving around. Actually, Oops. actually I probably need to go drawing? take a... Because, well, when my, my ranch... Is named after my wife and I, Lindley Llamas, and our license plate is digit two L L Llama, so two L Llama. So, yeah, <laughs> just, it's it's hard to do personalized license plates in California. There's just so many people. You go into the you go into the DMV website and you keep trying out all these combinations until you finally get one that hits. My sister got. Oh, uh, Carl's not here. He's going to miss this. My sister actually got NCC one seven zero one. You're in, kidding! In New Jersey. Oh, New Jersey. I, I used to have Kang oh one. Um, I had a, a, a Kia Soul. Uh, it was alien green. Was the official color for it. So I thought it was only fair that I get it. Call it Kang. I don't get it. It's if you, uh, it's from the uh, Simpsons. Kang and Kodos were the two oh. aliens. Oh. The, the two no, aliens. Never heard of him. Sorry, everybody. I don't know these things. Ron, did you see what's happening on Lou Anne? alien. <sighs> Are you going to buy the book? There's a book? Yeah, in order to find out what really happened to the two no of them. No way. They're selling a book that's like $16 or $32 if you want it signed by the two authors. But I have a feeling that may be the only way you ever find out what really happened on the road trip. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't know that. I saw that an email come through, but I didn't. I didn't look at. Yeah, that. yeah. If you're if you're on their email thing, that's probably what they're talking I must about. Have not is noticed it. Yeah, the, they're the talking book? about how you wherever the two uh, the, the writers are. You, you have to. It sounds like you have to buy this book to find out the backstory and what really happened. I on will the buy trip. it in a heart uh, in a flash, <laughs> and I will tell you what happens. Let's see how. Then you'll have to tell me because I'm not spending the money on it. Is it <laughs> Luann. What, what would be the? I, I can't remember. To, I can't I remember what, what the called. name of the website is. You'd have to go with, if you look in the the uh, the comments. There's all sorts of comments about it. Comments on on what? On 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 the whole thing and what's going on behind it and everybody's theories and all that stuff. All I know is I started reading it about nine o'clock this morning, and there are already 180 comments. But where are you reading the comments from? Are you reading it on Washington uh, Post? Uh, on, no, it's online. On the uh, not Comics Kingdom. What is the other one? Uh, Go Comics. Go Comics. Thank you. Mm -mm. Yeah, if you go to Go Comics, there's a link to all the comments, and they have that. Yeah, there's different. I think I, uh, even the even the California version has it. Luann fan mail is what. Shoot. Yeah, I think this is a different name for their website, but it's all things Luann type, whatever. Oh, okay. I'll look it up and uh, I'll get the book. Don't worry. <laughs> I had so much fun hanging out with Jane. This Jane oh, here who's shoving food. That's in her face. so mean, Richard. I got the root beer's got I got the the on taste. I, I had I so much it. fun with yeah. you too. We had fun, you guys. I I didn't really realize Jane was going to be able to go up there, and then she just couldn't. Um, that she had, she was staying because Janine was 
torturing her poor chickens by keeping them locked up in <laughs> little prison. And Janine really knows how to put on a party. get together. Oh yeah, man, she's like that was cool. beautiful, and the food was fantastic. And no yeah. chicken poop anywhere because she kept her chickens locked up. Yeah, well, my this, this, that, that's corrected now. I stepped in some coming in. Oh well. <laughs> Well, the, the scenery was incredible. Your pictures you took and posted on Facebook. Oh yeah, but, makes me, but makes me we want to drive up there. Out. Our our mountains weren't even there. Well, it's still beautiful. And you closed the summer, and the next day everything has been cool ever since. I know, except <laughs> it's eaten up again. It's such a treat to meet you guys in person and different things. Well, I mean, I've met Jane before, but you know what, Jane and I did Kenny Biddle and eric were staying with these donors in portland and they had this view like to die for and and i stayed at a hotel and jane stayed at the hotel too but in a different room but it was so hot so hot uh seattle but was really awful and portland was bad but that day, well our heat wave had passed by the time you got thank you you're welcome you're welcome yeah uh, yeah so oh, good. i was showing up so what I did is, so I said to Jane, Jane goes, because Jane was going to stay and represent OF, uh, the Oregonians for Science and Reason group and go to the, the, the ghost walk That's back. that night in Portland. And uh, Carolyn would have loved it, all this stuff. She, all that ghost stuff with Kenny Biddle. I, I wish you were there, Carolyn. So uh, we went to, uh, so Jane goes, well, well what's going to happen? I said, I don't know. And I think Kenny and Eric are going to get up, have breakfast with their donors, and then they're going to go for a hike and see waterfalls and go on this long hike. And they climbed up on top of a volcano. And I'm like, Jane, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lucky if I leave this hotel. And she says, that's fine. Me too. <laughs> I said, what do you want to do? And she goes, I don't care. I said, how about the movies? So we went to see Haunted Mansion together. It was so much fun. We went to the food court. I had, I had, I found a Sabaros and I had the best ziti. I used to eat ziti there all the time. Let me tell you, I love their ziti. And I would go, I like it really dry, really dry. And it was perfect. And we ate and then we went to the movies and we went to another place. Too bad there wasn't a pool table. And we went to another McMinimums. McMinimums. Yeah, Janine, there's a McMinimums right next to our hotel. But they didn't have a pool. Table. Which one? What was the name of it? Caracacus. It was Clackamas. A, Clackamas. Oh, Clackamas. McMinimums. Yeah, it was a small one. And yeah. so then we hung out there for ages. And then we went and picked up Kenny and Erica. And then we went to the went to the haunted um, ghost tour. That was my third ghost tour in, in a week. It was fun. Did you meet any ghosts? No, but it was too hot. I think it was that was the problem. No it, ghost it, would come out in this heat. It was awful. It was yeah. awful. So yeah, yeah, it was it was awful. So so what did Bob have to say about the ghosts? Because oh, they stayed with us. Um, and yeah, we hung out him and Sue, and we talked for a very long time. I forgot Bob was the guy who has the tomato father. So I I forgot about that and he didn't realize i was the woman who writes the wikipedia pages who told he told all about his tomato father so i had to tell him very sternly again that his father can't have a wikipedia page his father created a tomato and so i looked into it before you just can't have a wikipedia page just because you created a tomato i created a hop why don't i have one you don't get one sorry you don't get one that's sad. It's it's not on fame. It's not on anything like that. You have to have the citations. Sorry. I told Jay Novella, who wanted me to write him one, that he just needs to kill somebody and then he can get a page. Yeah, I tell him rob a bank yeah, or something that would with work. like a clown mask, like a clown nose or something, and you'll get you'll you have get to do it in a specific too. If you just kill somebody that doesn't make the news, you're still not gonna get it. It's gotta be some <laughs> thing that's gonna <laughs> make the national stuff. media. Yeah, like you, you have, you have to do it in downtown New York and get away with it. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad I didn't have to go through all that. Yeah, no, Richard. <laughs> so yeah, so uh, I, I also told Jay, by the way, once you have a page, anything that happens to you that is in the media is going to be on that page forever. Yeah, it's it not is. up to you to take it off. That's so think twice about wanting a page. Absolutely. So yeah, 
I hope you haven't told him that Gina Bell in a while because I've already had talks with them. Each no, I, ha I haven't. I haven't talked to him since the pandemic. As began. they've asked me. But uh, <laughs> hi, Jamie. How are you? Hi. Good Tomorrow morning. Okay? Hey, hi, guys. Jamie. Hi. Good morning. Beautiful day here today. Sunny. Big news today. Trump is all over the TV sets. <laughs> I did, that's why I didn't turn them on. Well, I just, uh -huh. it is, I just what is this? Them. What is this Trump you speak of? <laughs> it's me. Trumpets. Trumps. So, Richard, did they explain to you? Somebody told me that they told you about your Wikipedia page last week or something. And I said, I, 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 already, I told them that they weren't to tell it, tell it was saved. You understood that, right? You, I'm sorry, you're, you're very faint. Susan. I am not faint. I am. I'm Susan. I'm loud. How do you miss? So compared me? to everybody else, your <laughs> audio is faint. I don't know if your microphone's not turned. Yeah, you up are fainter than everybody else's audio level. Really? Yeah. No. That's I fine. Hear clearly. Even that way. I've, I've been talking to people you, on Zoom today. You need to project, Susan. Anything. Um, project, project. I, I told people. <laughs> I told people last week that. Um, Words to the effect that you know, if 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 my Wikipedia page is there for a valid reason, it should be there, right? And it is um, like anybody, you know, Fred down the street or Mary around the corner. If they have a valid reason for a Wikipedia page, then so be it. Well, the same with me, you know. It's flattering to think that people regard me as somebody worthy of a Wikipedia page. So I leave that to other people. Yeah, good, good, good way of saying it. It's just. Whenever it came out as um, somebody tried to challenge it, oh, Adrian, when somebody tried to challenge it, I didn't, you know, somebody, <laughs> I can't remember who said, we should tell Richard to have him help us find sites. And I said, I don't want, it was Adrian, I said, I don't want Richard worried. I do not, there's nothing that you would personally be able to do that we couldn't do. I mean, you know, what citations are you going to find that we can't find? And, and, um probably pro probably right, I mean, right. Well, it would have been theory recent, i could find it would, it would yeah. have been recent things and of course we could find those and i said there's no reason to stress him out and because it's well, it feels well, like an be... attack it feels like an attack and there's no it, i didn't yeah but that. you know what i mean it's water off a duck's back i don't worry about these things too much okay so everybody <laughs> just delete this page now he doesn't care <laughs> No, so I, yeah, actually, I lost track of it. I just, I just read it now, and it, and the vote was to keep it. So, yeah, yeah. it was, a, it was just a sim simple thing done by yeah. some person, and it, it just caused me, um, it, you know, I'm still, I'm still, I'm looking at the uh, the Great Australian Psychic Prediction Project section, and it's still not up to date, despite me requesting at least four times in the last three months that uh, somebody do something. And I want this it. advertisement thing off of here right now. I'm just pissing me off. Okay. Yeah. I, I'll wow. Take care of it. Yeah. I don't like this stuff. I want the page to be written, written correctly and strong, and I don't want to be dealing with it in the future. No challenges to it. No more of these stupid flags. Updated what was what was what was the deal with the person who slapped that flag on it? Well, the one that's written by an advertisement that's been there since March. No, not not that one. The one about oh, deleting it. He didn't like that the word skeptic. It says Richard Saunders skeptic. And he didn't like that the word skeptic was spelled. In well, the but yeah, but that's not why he wanted to delete it. What was his? No, he did that, it? and then he he gets in there and he wanted to change it to the Australian spelling of skeptic. Yeah, yeah. And so then he started updating things on the page, and he didn't. He said that there wasn't enough, and it's yeah. like, well, we haven't really been editing a lot since we made it, or since it was written years ago, because. You know, once it's written, we're just kind of leave it. Maybe update if there's something really important that happens. Well, right, what, it's what, like it's not like it. we're maintaining a website. Where it we it is a little bit concerning that somebody can go in and do, and doesn't know about enough about the topic that they think that that is the incorrect spelling when it comes to international skepticism. Well, that's a bit of totally research is needed by whoever it was before well, they no, go there in. There was no research done by this person. I don't okay. think, no. and he was a and and nothing really happens immediately they put it up for vote and then other people take time and they come over yeah. and then they and then they take deal with it but at the moment it was like 
you know, you get people who are inexperienced and they, is my audio better? By the way, I raised my volume on the thing. No. No. And we can still hear you. <laughs> we can, we can hear you. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. But it, no, it works pretty well if I press mute, but then I don't hear anyone else either. Uh, but the point was, is that people can make suggestions on things and yeah. we have to deal with it. And the person who's making this, there's all levels of experience people yeah. have. And it's but, like kind of that Dunning-Kruger effect that I don't know if um, it's or not, where they think they have the expertise, but they don't, but they think they do, but they don't. It's, yeah, it's, it's we, I mean, I'm very pleased that you didn't want to worry me, but it's not something that would particularly worry me. Well, from past experience of anybody who's had anything like this happen to them in the past, it feels like you're being attacked. It feels oh, I've like, been attacked oh, for years. I know, but who is it? <laughs> who is it that's after me this time? You know, it's that feeling. Uh, just, all right, Richard. So you are, you, I would feel like I was being attacked. And I know other people have felt that way too. They're like, well, who is it? Who did it? And you just, it's just some no name, nobody who did it. Yeah, then they're, they're not important to me. Well, except that they made it, they made such a stink and we were pissed off about it. Ah, but I've got friends at my back. Yeah. And we wrote that Wikipedia page and maintained it because it deserves to be there, not because you're our friend. And I, speaking I of, of uh, pages, I know, Susan, you've had many requests over the years of people requesting a Wikipedia page. Oh, and yeah. <laughs> I've had a few. And I just had one recently and really? uh, yeah, uh, Richard's met this lady, but she approached me because of my talk at Week and Reason. She was another speaker at Week and Reason and she is writing a book and her publisher recommended she get a Wikipedia get. page. Get. Yeah. Like you purchase it or something. <laughs> well, and that's what people just don't understand. And so she says, is that something I can do myself or what, you know, what is the process? So, you know, I kind of walked her through, no, don't do it yourself. And, 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 this is it, and this is the requirements for notability. And I did a quick search myself. Like I didn't tell her that I was going to do a quick search, but oh, I'll just take a minute and see if it's a possibility. And she's very prominent out there, but there's nobody's written about her. And so I told her that after her book's published and if people write about it, then there's a better chance that you'll get a Wikipedia page. Better chance doesn't mean she's going to get it. She's going to have to Is this the other too. speaker at Week and Reason? Uh, yeah, this is what, uh, not uh, Courtney. I'm just trying to think of her. Oh, Janice. Janice, the lady who used to be, I think, a Mennonite. I think she she's the psychologist who is uh, specializes in religious trauma. Oh, okay. Yeah, she she's you know, I'm hey. surprised all the time how many people have no clue how Wikipedia works. All so, the time. Susan, Susan mm -hmm. pause the re pause the recording. Here comes the good stuff. But I yeah, I thought that, that that was an interesting amazing. turn. No one took. would have believed that. No, I know. Yeah, I'm sorry, uh, Rob. That never happened. happened. You were not <laughs> a by a UFO. I tell you, they were from Proxima Centauri. <laughs> <laughs> But without <laughs> clothes, mm -hmm. I didn't know that they had orifices like that. That's amazing. And that and, and those aliens are the ones that gave us homeopathy? <laughs> <laughs> it, the really weird thing, it works in their system. I don't know why. I no, tell you. I'm going to go camping with you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. So we should get started. Um, hello, oh, Kyle. Kevin's Hi, Kevin. already got the yeah. mug Hi, shot. Bill. Hi, Peggy. Uh, First Alan's time seeing here. that. Leonard is now here even though we heard him earlier yeah, and and, 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 and the number the number on mine which i've added from my previous lock him up that is actually his inmate number <laughs> somebody just I wonder if that me. domain is taken yet <laughs> <laughs> here comes deborah lee uh lee just posted something about i guess it's got his weight on the check-in and it says 215 she goes that's nobody, nobody's buying it. <laughs> six foot three 215 pounds now, yeah, self right. reported. Uh, self -reported. not reliable nobody's for... looking at my license all right <laughs> <laughs> we ain't talking about it yeah. Mine's just a i saw a post um i think it was from matt dillahunty he said if Trump is actually six foot three and 215 pounds. I'll vote for him. 
<laughs> what would it be in stone? In stone? Divide by 14. Ah, oh, uh, Those people, those Brits, don't they keep us keep us on our toes? It cracks me Stones up. have been around like for a long time, so... Well, I've got stones in my backyard. They're old as rock. They're all different prices. They're all different sizes and different weights. So I don't know. I've never understood that stuff, but whatever. All right. So tonight we're going to have um, mm. a category on Luann, a category on uh, haunted mansion, <laughs> one on one on ghost walks. <coughs> no, Hicks. and one on the yeah. uh, on the on the best end? route. The best route to take driving oh. from uh, Seattle ah. to Salinas. I yes. tell you, let me tell you, Leonard, I left my driveway and put the book on tape, um, uh, Project Mary, uh, help, uh, Project Hell Mary. And it, and I got to my hotel. It, it took me a day. You know, I stayed the night somewhere and then I went the next day and I got to my hotel room in Federal Way in Washington. And it was like two minutes till it ended. I was like, this is the perfect book to drive it there. So that's the second time I've listened you, to it. Yeah, and that's what I thought. It too, on Oregon, on the way to Oregon. It's perfect. Yeah, it, it, it was a good, uh, uh, it was a good read or listen. Yeah, it was a great listen. It was good for road trip. Yep. Oh yeah, we did it. On, we did it to Cincinnati. It was John really and good. I did it to Sycon. <laughs> and the thing is, is you don't have to change it or anything because on the way back, I was playing podcasts and stuff, and I kept having to like. You could tell it to play the next or the next, but you just can't get it to go eight six hours of of uh, stuff that's thirty minute podcast. So anyway, so let's get you guys all in the rooms. I'm excited to be back. <laughs> Richard. <laughs> we have a Ooh, special seven, guest. Seven, seven. Where's Richard? He he was Trump for a moment. Oh. Hi, Richard. Oh. He's, back. He's, He's back. back. He's back. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> Oh, geez. God. Turn him off on my screen. <laughs> Nightmares. Kevin back there. Okay, so we've got, let me look at the, who's got grounds tonight. I already talked to Robin. She knows she's doing bonus. So we're starting off with Jamie. Hey. You know your first, right? Okay. Paula Hi. said not to do anything really a category she really likes until 7.30, so which is an hour. <clears throat> wait, wait, when? So <laughs> what, 7.30 your time? What time are we talking about? An hour from now. She's yeah. Saying, then, then, don't then, do anything then, really good before I get then, there. Then, then move me. Why? Because <laughs> she will like my category. Oh, really? Oh, sure are you. And she'll probably hate mine, so. Oh, no, you're doing Luann. <laughs> like I said. I got I got to look up this book thing. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So they oh, are my God. <laughs> Bring back Trump, Richard. Bring back Trump. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> is that <laughs> me? <laughs> I didn't even recognize myself. I'm like, who's that? <laughs> That was just okay. spooky. Uh, it looked a little bit like you, Susan. Yeah, a it looked bit. a lot like her. <laughs> it was the uncanny Susan. Oh, that's that's okay. All right. That was wow. scary, is what it was. Yeah, thank you. Thank you yeah. so much. But it really was. Hello, Deborah. I see she's here. All right. What do I got here? Okay, I've got everybody in their roles, but I've got a room that doesn't have very many people. So let's see who's gonna move there. Who are you? Who, 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 who? Okay. One, two, three, four. And Faith will be here, right, Romero? One, two, three. Yeah, she's right. She's right here. One, two, three. Oh, there she. No. Well, uh, she's I, there. I don't know. Double check. I don't. Oh, okay. She looks like a chair. I don't know. <laughs> she really looks great as a chair. Is that our <laughs> Halloween costume this year? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she's going as a chair. Okay, one, two, three, four. <coughs> five, five for there. One, two, three, four, five there. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, Gail's here. Hi, Gail. One, two, three, four. Hello. Two, Hi, Gail. Three, four. Hi. Hey, Gail. Okay. So Hi. Take one. Take somebody out of there. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I could put one of them here. Gail's here. 
So <clears throat> one, two, three, four. Okay, one. Okay, let's put Deborah over there. That's put Trump in solitary. <laughs> I should just make a breakout room just for him. Him and Marjorie, Marjorie Taylor Green. Can you imagine those two just <laughs> hanging out together? And ew. I can imagine him being the next president and she being the next vice president. Well, oh, that she, that's, that's what she, she dreams of. That's what she's going she for. Dreams, but, yeah. but what's his name? Swami or somebody? Yeah, Vivek. Debate last oh my night, God, he's crazier than Trump. I actually well, I think know. he's the oh VP. God. He's going for VP. Oh my God. Let's put Gail. Oh, so you're keeping oh. me in room two? Then then Paul is not going to get my uh, time. It'll be, a, it's an hour from now. Okay. One, two, okay, Gail, I'm just counting people to put you in a room for. Hold on a second. One, two, three, four. Okay, I will put you, one, two, three, four. I will put you there. Four. You're going into four. Four. Okay. I like it, too. Hamilton, they're Ritz crackers. There's nothing here. Just ignore the fact that there's a cheese stick there. I haven't opened it up yet. Move, move. Oh my goodness. Well, Gail, to be continued. <laughs> hey, I'm talking. There's nothing on here, Ron. Uh, well, I looked on the Facebook fan page. I've looked on her <laughs> website. I looked at the email they sent me. There's nothing I've seen that says anything about. What you talking about? The book that they he said there was a book coming out. There's a there's a feature collection on Luann.com, a storyline, but that's from whenever Gunter and and his uh, Rosa went to Peru. So there's nothing about this other thing. So which cat is that, Susan? This is Hamilton. 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 Oh, yeah. Gone. Hamilton. Back. Gone. You you notice I have, I have Ritz crackers. And I haven't <laughs> had Ritz crackers in ages. But he knows that if I have Ritz crackers, there's probably a cheese stick somewhere around. Uh, I haven't opened uh, the cheese stick. But that's how these cats get. They know there must be a cheese stick somewhere. What about the milk duds? They're in, they're in the back. I didn't feel like having those right now. I already ate a box. <laughs> Are you a cat lady, uh, Susan? Do the cats not, like milk duds? No. no. Did you explain to him that correlation is not causation? <laughs> Hamilton, so Kyle is going to go in a breakout room with you and you two guys can hammer it out and he didn't explain to you. He just wants to... Okay, anyway. I'm really looking forward to seeing your guys' names of your... <laughs> go away! Okay, Faith and Romero, Jamie, Kevin, and Peggy. What's your team name today? So Romero's putting it in. Yes. Ooh, that's a good team name. Romero's easy, putting it in. Breezy, easy, breezy, beautiful, Georgia and Peach. Shade P O one one three five eight oh nine. Okay. I like it. All right. Easy, breezy, beautiful, Georgia and Peach. Shade P number P O one one three five. Oh nine, okay. I just kind of got to read the whole it. thing every time, Susan. You I have to read it out. Don't worry, I will. I will. Adrian, Janine, Kyle, and Rob. So we figured everyone was going to go with a Trump-themed name. So we went for uh, the second to come in. Rudy's Four Seasons Bail Bonds. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> That's a good one. That's excellent. Did Is he so broke? He, he actually to had to go bonds? to a, a he had to go to a bail bond thing. And uh yeah, and they couldn't find a four season, so it was another name place. <laughs> That's awesome. Two guys or something. <clears throat> Our, when we went to Seattle, we had to meet to go to the ghost hunt, and it was right outside of the four seasons. And I said, I gotta take a picture of that. I took a picture of it and I want to change the writing on it someday. All right, Deborah, Lee, Ron, and Vincent. It's just a cracker. Hamilton. <laughs> you, you, are you going to doing this one? Are you doing this one, Vincent? Wait, what? No, I got it. Oh, oh, it's okay. It's, there it is. Right Sorry. there. I don't get it. Wait, what? <laughs> Eight is enough. 
I don't know. Uh, we had two, not, we had two different names and we moved it. I don't get it. Well, the eight has to do with the uh, debate. No, oh, the debate. Uh, and he wait. says he weighed 175 oh, pounds. Oh, yes. Wait, what? Okay, I get it. I get it. Okay, and he so was six foot three. Two. Together. Eight is enough. All right, it's a cracker. Wait, Alan, Ben, Gail, Jane, and Carl. See, smell it. There's nothing else here. Smell it. Who had two months and plane crash in the Pergosian pool? <laughs> oh, ah. too soon, too soon. Ooh, I like that. No, it's right on. I think. Yeah, that was good. I no, I thought it would have been a couple days, but no, I guess there had oh. time. We were looking for a window. It was just sad that the other people had to die too. Mm -hmm. the pilots and stuff, not the who who the would get into a plane with him. Yeah. I know. I, I don't understand. Think. He walks into a restaurant. I'm not in that restaurant now. Yeah. I'm out of here. Somebody's going to come in here and shoot this place up. Go. Well, if he walks into window. a restaurant now, there's something definitely. Uh, yeah. That's I mean, I had 30 days and fall out of a building. So, and I lost the pool. Yeah. <laughs> Bill, Carolyn, Leonard, and Saunders. Donnie wanted to play golf today, but he was booked. <laughs> <laughs> that was I love this stuff. That's so fun. I love seeing this kind of stuff. Okay. So our yes. other one was similar to yours, uh, Team Four, when we didn't go for it, but it was uh, I, I was going to quote it because it was Keith Oberman's. It was oh, I've never heard of a plane that fell out of a window before. <laughs> yeah. Oh, awesome! Thank you. I got it. Okay, great, Ron. Okay, I'm. I'm booking that. I'll let you know what happens. All right. All right. So we've got easy, breezy, beautiful Georgia and peach shade number P O one five eight oh nine versus Rudy's Four Seasons Bell Bonds versus wait, what? Eight is enough versus who had two months in a plane crash in the Pagosian pool versus Donnie wanted to play golf today, but he was booked. Just a bit busy. <laughs> Oh, book. Okay. I had distracted with the Lou Anne Mill. Mm. All right. So who's going to be, who has not been my little co-person in a while? I'll do it. All right, Vincent. You're in charge. Yeah, okay. right. <laughs> <laughs> so we have five different categories today by five different people. Isn't that amazing? Um, <laughs> Those five different people are going to be Jamie, Rob, Ron, Carl, and Robin, who will be arriving soon. So team five, you will have Robin in your room eventually. Thank you guys so much for all the work you did the last two weeks. And thank you so much, Rob, for hosting it. And I have nobody for next week. So I'm just FYI, anybody waving hands around or anything like that will be chosen. So just remember that. But yeah, I'll need people for next week as well. I'm going to put Gail down right now before she says anything because I already am reading her mind. She's got room for it. You're going to be home now? <laughs> you be around? What is it? You've been chosen <laughs> to have to do a round next week. I know you're going to volunteer. Next week, you mean? Uh huh. Oh, okay. Is that all right? Sure. Okay. I, I got one. Kevin. I don't know what we're going to do for PsyCon week. Mm. But this will be interesting. I still, we got to do it though. Don't worry about it. All right. So we're ready to start and we're leaving Please. off with Jamie. I'm going to give you your powers, Jamie. I can find you on my screen. Oh, there you are. I think it's going to be something about rocks or little tiny things or colors or uh, mosaics, almost. art, something. It is the world of plastic. Oh. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, Vincent, or can someone mute? I don't know. Can't really do it from here. Yeah. Mute everybody. That's you, Vincent. Okay, is everybody all set? Unmute yourself. Okay, is everybody all set? Let me go back. Okay, here we go.
Okay, number one. The world's first commercial plastic made from synthetic components was developed by a Belgian chemist in Yonkers, New York in 1907. It was made by combining phenol, which is a common disinfectant with formaldehyde. This plastic was commonly used for the production of electrical insulators, telephone and radio casings, children's toys, firearms, and kitchenware. It was commonly used for jewelry during the Art Deco period. Later, it became basically obsolete because of its inherent rigidity and brittleness, named this once popular plastic. Okay. Call it Fred. Okay, number two. Blank was an early commercially successful synthetic thermoplastic polymer marketed in 1935 by DuPont. Its first large scale commercial use was for the production of flexible toothbrush bristles and later became a strategic wartime material during World War II. Okay, number three. Since the 1950s, this synthetic chemical has been used in the production of plastics. In 2008, laboratory studies concluded that this chemical may lead to breast and prostate cancers, chromosomal abnormalities, brain and behavioral abnormalities, and metabolic disorders. Care must therefore be taken to avoid such plastics, which still may be used for food applications such as plastic dishware, storage containers, and utensils. What is this chemical known best by its three-letter name? Number four. <clears throat> In 1508, Leonardo da Vinci was the first to sketch and describe the concept of contact lenses. But it wasn't until 1971 that this company marketed the first commercial soft contact lens made of hydrophilic hydrogel polymer, named this company. Okay, number five. Blank is the most commonly produced plastic in the world today, used primarily for packaging applications, such as plastic bags, films, bottles, etc. Over 100 million tons are produced annually. Six. Blank percent of fish now caught for human consumption contains plastic and it's plus or minus 5%. Number seven, in 2022, the world produced Black million tons of plastic waste, plus or minus 50 million. Number eight, also known as the Pacific Trash Vortex, the blank, 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 blank is a huge collection of marine debris covering over 620,000 square miles, swirling between California and Hawaii, consisting of over 79,000 metric tons of non-biodegradable plastic waste. It is three times the size of France. Okay, number nine. 
This plastic is most commonly used for rigid plumbing pipes, replacing traditional galvanized iron or steel. It is the preferred choice in a wide range of industrial, agricultural, commercial, and residential applications. And number 10. In 2023, the average new automobile, uh, non-EV, just internal combustion engines. So in, in 2023, average new automobile contains how many parts of plastic? And it's plus or minus 1,000 parts. Okay. Everybody all set? Hey, that's it. So Vincent, can you send people to the rooms? Yep. Okay, okay. Everybody left. I feel all alone. All right, all right, all right. Oh, there I am. Okay, everybody looks thrilled. Oh, now the cat has cheese. Really? All right. I, I wouldn't have been able to eat the cheese without giving him some. Yeah. Oh, that was it. Okay. I know a couple of these, but I guess you guys oh. probably all do too. Mm -hmm. All right. Number one. Do you know what number one is? Fake light. Okay. Was that what it was? It was a fake light. Is it fake light? We have no idea. Oh, I think it's bake light because they, they, they you cooked it like you they, well some people have called it bakelite, but I think it's pronounced bake light, but it's B-A-K-E-L-A-T-E, I believe. And it they made a bunch of jewelry out of it. That's where I first noticed it. And then it turns out they made other things from it. But it is, it's a very um kind of brittle, easily broken thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, it was popular in like the 20s and 30s for jewelry and things you put in your hair, that kind of stuff. You see them in a lot of antique shops and shows. Sounds okay, good. so this next one was a blank because of early commercially. We're thinking two of nylon. That's what I have down. I think it is nylon. That does sound right because it really was, uh, you know, changed mm -hmm. the world. It was early. Yeah. Okay. Hello, Hamilton. Hello, Hamilton. Hamilton only okay. has eyes for cheese. He only mm -hmm. has one sound, too. <laughs> okay, number so three. BPA. BPA. Do we need to know what BPA stands for? No, it just says best three. I think it's something plastic something, but I don't never heard it's, of it. It's, it's three letter name. It's BPA and they talk yeah. about how B, plastic B, 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 No, B is in boy, P yeah. as in polo and A is in alpha. Okay. Where's Kevin? Hey Susan? Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, where is Kevin? Yeah, uh, Deborah is missing out of room 3. Yeah, she just came in right now. She keeps having problems. Is she 3? Yeah. Okay. And Kevin's supposed to be in our room. Kevin? Can you find Kevin? Who killed Kevin? Kevin's not here. Kevin must have his phone, his thing rebooting or something. He'll be back soon. Oh, Kevin yeah. Kevin's still at home in Chicago. He got left. Yeah. So here, here's Kevin. He's supposed to be in Kevin one. Kevin is all alone. Is he in one? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So three, four, is that Bosch and Lohman? Bosch and Lohm, yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. And five is it polyethanol? 
Is it ethanol? Polyethylene. Or poly polyethylene or something like that. I have like polyester, polyvinyl, I, but ethanol, it could be. Polyethylene would be. Ethylene? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go with that one. How? Okay. What percentage of fish now caught for human consumption? Maybe by like 90. This is really high. I yeah, think it might high. be like 85 would be a decent that's answer. That's what there. I was going to guess. 85. Yeah. 85 will give us 80 and 90, but it's, it is really fucking high. I think it also depends on what you're looking for. Like, if you're looking for like even like the smallest trace amounts, it's gonna be right. Like, yeah, like really, really high. But if you're just looking for maybe like visible pieces of plastic, then it's gonna be lower. So for seven, the world produced blank million tons of waste plastic. Ugh, I can't. I don't think my brain will think that big. It's gonna be a big number though. A lot. <laughs> Is it a billion? Well, she says plus What's or that? minus What's 500 that? million. So okay. I don't know. If, or 50 no, million. So I plus don't or know. minus 50, yeah. What, what about 300 to 350? You well, think he would have a bigger range for, for that number, though? I never know about this range. We always I, try to find out the range. Well, think about, like, that would be, like, what? There's 7 billion people on the planet. Oh, get out of here, Trump. <laughs> and Hamilton is gone. Here, smell. Like, if we had, if we, let's say it was 500 million. No, no more cheese. I only got the first three questions. I don't know how I don't have any of the rest of the questions. Like how many? How much plastic do you think each one of us creates? Like a hundred pounds uh, a year? Mm -hmm. More than that, I think. More than okay, that. Kevin, I'm giving you the questions. Thank you. Well, we also oh, he's, he's probably already done it. More plastic than like oh, here's some more uh, poor countries. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. We'd have to average it out. Is it the U.S. or the world? The world. The world is number four, Bausch and Lomb. That's what I said. Yeah, we have Bakelite or Backlite for one, nylon, BPA, Bausch and Lomb, and then polyethylene, and then we guessed eighty-five percent for six. And now we're trying to figure out how much plastic waste we create. When it says waste plastic, does that mean stuff that is not used for anything? Or no, that's you, that's like your milk jugs, your plastic bags, your uh, pieces mm -hmm. from wrecked vehicles, water bottle, mm -hmm, water bottle that we use, your hangers, mm -hmm. your uh, the clamshell containers that your fruit and vegetables can come in, your credit cards. Uh huh. Uh, mm -hmm. There's this plastic waste. But how often does your credit card last for a few years? You're talking about like single use plastics mostly. Your takeout food containers. But this probably Cups this probably includes like L right. plastic. But think Nine about is it. is PVC. Yes. Right. Yeah, we have that one. Mm -hmm. Well, I did anyway. I had it. I, what if you put like 700 million pounds? Wow. Okay, whatever. Um, the it's it just to me it seems a little low. The great it's the, the gyre. A the million great, is a lot. It's called the great. Uh, I'll go with seven hundred million. It just seems like seems to me, no? with, with billions of people in on the planet. Yeah, but, but yeah. Think you and I yeah, we make more. But it's in pounds, so like, yeah. How much? How much do you think? Like, I think we're only responsible maybe for like 100, 200 maybe pounds per person a year in plastic waste. I'm but, I'm willing to go seven hundred million. If if the team's good, I'm good. Okay. So eight. The full name of this thing, I think it ends in gyre, doesn't it? The great um, thing, Gyre. 
Is it like garbage? No. What about the great plastic reef? No, I've never heard. Isn't it like the great garbage patch or something? Like the great garbage patch? Um, the great garbage. Is it isn't the word island in there somewhere? The great garbage island? No, no, it's the great. It's four words. Trash, the great garbage. The garbage. The great garbage flotilla. I think it has patch, doesn't it? I don't know. Patch. Garbage patch. Nope. We think it of the garbage patch kids. It's oh. <laughs> you know I've heard it a bunch of times. Uh, Brian Dunning talks about it a lot on Skeptoid. Yeah, and it if somebody said it right, I think I'd remember that that was right or not. It's the great, the great garbage migration. Might be patch. The great not garbage. flotilla. No, I don't think it's flotilla. I thought it had gyre in it. Gyre? Yeah. How do you spell it? G-Y-R-E. I think it's the great G-A-G. G-Y-R-E. G. -G. G, -R -E. G -R -E. I think it's all simple words. But you don't think it's gyre, so. I, well, the great, I, I, I would think it's patch before gyre. Well, it could be the Great Pacific Ocean patch. Garbage patch. Or garbage Great patch. Pacific garbage patch. Is it got Pacific in it? Well, there's four words. The is not it's one of It's between California and Hawaii, so Pacific could oh. be in what it. What if it's the Great Pacific garbage patch? That sounds that sounds like something I've heard before. That's what I just said. Okay. Yeah, and I'm agreeing <laughs> with you. That's why you put I it I just heard mind. it. Let's go with that. <laughs> I think it's right because I've heard garbage patch and Pacific, but I, the great was the only word I wasn't sure. And I thought fl flotilla could have been in there for some okay. reason. I don't know. And how many parts of a vehicle contain plastic? Are made of plastic. How many parts? Wow. How many plus or minus a thousand of parts? Yeah. How many parts? Let's yeah. go with like 6,000. What does that mean? Parts of plastic. What does that so mean? So this is how much how much of the vehicle is made out of plastic? We're talking about your dashboard. Um, this is the engine, though. No, it's an internal combustion engine vehicle. It's not, it's how many parts not an electrical of an automobile. Vehicle. An elect oh, so if you were to take the whole thing vehicle. and melt it down, how much of it would be plastic? How much no, no, it's how many plastic? pieces, no. different parts. No, of how many plastic. parts? So it isn't how many items? How many yeah. items? Yeah. How many parts so you have to put it together? We're talking and if it's about plus or minus thousand. That means if you said two thousand, you would cover from you know one from one thousand to three thousand. But I think there's more parts than that, and I want to guess like five or six thousand. It's got to be at so least it, five thousand. But it yeah, there could be even like more. Like a dashboard would have like multiple things screwed on right. right? No, so you're talking about the knobs. You're talking about the knobs. You're talking about the even the little intricate plastic yeah. pieces. On the little center. plastic washers that are used underneath the screws. Everything. Even some of the Everything. like <laughs> the um like the bolts that they use to plug in certain pieces are actually plastic. Yeah, they snap. Like, they have little plastic the snaps that hold the handle, the oh, yeah, seatbelt right. parts. You know, even the, the even plastic, plastic, the plastic that covers the wires. Handle. Plastic casing on top of the battery. The battery mm -hmm. itself it has probably like it has to be somewhere between five and ten thousand. Let's go with yeah. six. Let's go with six thousand then. So six. we'll cover five to seven. Yeah. Let's go with some weird number like sixty-five or fifty-five. Sixty-five. Sixty-five hundred. Yeah. Sure. Why That's not? That's really weird, boy. Well, well, just because it gives you a rate, it, it, it's going to end up being like something like 6,432 or something. You know what I mean? We might be in that range now. Here comes Robin. What about 6,527? 6, what about 113,509? <laughs> Imagine if you were dead on. <laughs> Somebody write that down. Oh, good thing we're filming this. What about P01135809? So <laughs> Plus or minus one million. I wanted to turn into a song. I wanted to turn into 
Eight six seven five three zero nine. Yeah, they should have an, a song that's. Somebody somebody will, somebody will. Number. Somebody's already got my song. number. They're going. P o one one o three five eight o nine nine. Would it be better in Spanish? P. What's zero? Someone's got a. Someone's got a. Uh, zero. 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 P zero. On so my number on the jailhouse wall. Ocho, Donnie, ocho, I got your no number. Yes, it is. Donnie, really I got your number. No ring to it. That that mugshot is Georgia Peach meets Blue Steel. That's that true. is going to be Jenny, all over. If it's not already, it's Jenny. Sure Jenny, I got your number off the bathroom wall. Is now Donnie. Donnie, I got your number off the jailhouse wall. <sighs> Hey, Donnie, I got your number. Oh. Instead of Jenny. Class, this Donnie. is what you get for storing classified documents in a bathroom. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'll just do backup because I don't know words. I'm no good at the words. Oh. <laughs> Go to the golf Then he says, course. I got it. I got it. Sydney Powell's got for my good, number. For a <laughs> good time. Sydney has got my number. <laughs> We're writing the song here. No, hold on, hold on. Giuliani's got my number. Oh, what's, his number? what's his number? Be happy. Where is he? It'll be, it'll be done. It'll be done. Oh, yeah. Is it, it's in the bathroom stall at the Four Seasons <laughs> Lawn Care. I think it should be set to uh, fat, no, uh, to uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh, that's too hard, though. It could be done. But there's someone's a lot gonna, going on in his. Sometimes, movie. sometimes when you do stuff like that, though, it, it gets page. so like absurd that people don't like it. It has to be like real catchy and quick. Okay. You, the deeper you go, sometimes it lo you lose people. Okay, Susan, how is everybody doing? We're done. Oh, we get ten answers. Okay, don't we? can you put the the timer on, please? Yeah, we're, we're writing a song. So oh, we, sure. GPT is writing us a song. Oh, you're about right. Chris, that you're one one three five eight oh nine, and a cell of steel and stone. The story unfolds. Because of the one one three five eight oh nine, a tale to be told. <laughs> Behind those bars, a spirit strong yet so confined. A journey of redemption, a search for peace of mind. <laughs> oh God! You gotta say, ask it to you know to use Donald Trump, Donnie, uh, uh, in the. Can you in make the it a thug rap song? <laughs> No, make it make I'm it to the in a cell, P O one one three five eight oh nine living in no, the chaos. to the tune of Jenny. Alive. Still bars all around, but my spirit won't break. J eight six seven five three oh nine. Donnie in the do style in the of cover. Jenny. Do it in the style of Jenny. Hey. The song Jenny. Is it Jenny, called Jenny? Jenny? It's called mm -hmm. Jenny. Tommy Two Tone. Jenny eight six seven five three oh nine. Well, he said that we could remember that so well. It was a huge hit. Oh, you know, start it's, over it's, again. It's a phone number. How is it that we're so good at? Eight six seven five three zero oh, nine. There's a number of companies in my area that use that phone number, and they're the plumbing company. supply companies, and they were fighting over it because one's in Rhode Island, and one's in Mass. Where's the words? Copy zero one one three five nine. You're more than a number. You're more than a number. You're You're shine, Behind yeah. those bars, a spirit so free. Gotta break these chains and find the key. <laughs> oh yeah. Jenny, Jenny, who can hey Jenny, Jenny, who can I turn to? You give me something I can hold on to. I know you'll think I'm like the others before who saw your name and number on the wall. Jenny, I've got your number. I need to make you hold Jenny, don't change no, your number. Hold on. Hey, Ron, I bought the book, autographed. Read it yet? It's going to be two to three weeks to get here. It's an actual print book. Oh, it's an actual print book. Okay. Yeah, it's autographed and everything. I didn't know, you, did, you bought the autographed version? Yeah, because I'm I'm putting it on my shelf. I've got several cartoon books and stuff, so we'll put it right in there. Right? Well, it's rich, it's, it's rich people can spend 36 bucks on it. I, it's Luann. I mean, how many times? <laughs> I gotta get there, and they're only selling them till like August twenty eighth or something. So, uh, well, I want a full summary because I'm not buying it. What's the book? 
Luann and uh, it, it's a backstory on the yes. latest late latest part of the, the yeah, cartoon Gunter, strip. They've never written a book before and and released it. They just the cartoons just out, and I want to know what happened. It's fifty yep. pages, so mm -hmm. I'm sure it's gonna be good. So while we were room one, who's um, who's using PO one one three five eight zero nine. We started trying to fit it to the song lyrics of Jimmy. Mm -hmm. six, seven, yeah. five, eight, six, seven, five, we were trying to come up with some better version for it to, for for his number. We got your number. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I'm lousy at this. All right, so we're back. Okay, um, Jamie, those were good. Really good questions. We I we got Chat GPT to write us a parody of the style of eight six seven five four nine. Ooh, I want to hear it recorded. I want you to record it. Sing it. <laughs> okay, can I give the answers? Everybody all set? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, number one. Um, the first uh, commercial plastic made of synthetic components was Bakelite. Peggy, woo woo! She knew that one. Number two, the plastic that was used as a strategic material during World War II is nylon. Right, Lee. Parachutes and parachute lines. Number three, um, this synthetic chemical, which is toxic, is BPA. Wow, oh, BPA. If we spell the oh. E with an A, is that okay? No, BPA. <laughs> <laughs> Do we is get extra probably... points for saying bisphenol A? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> what, what if they were Canadian and they said BP, eh? <laughs> that makes sense. As long as you're it's, how I, it's how I got in this category because last week we noticed that all the dishes we have here, which we use in the microwave, was not BPA free. We've been using it for years. So we threw away all of our dishes and pots. And we threw away everything and started from scratch to make sure everything is BPA free. You have to be careful. Yeah, and the um, and the things that you buy that are BPA free contain yeah. chemicals that are almost certainly just as dangerous Works. as BPA. <laughs> um, they just haven't been tested yet. Oh, Absolutely, that's <laughs> well. That's true. There you go. All right. Well, actually, yeah. actually, now we now we use um, ceramic. It's probably the safest thing is ceramic and glass. Yeah, ceramic oh, and glass, great stuff. Yeah. So, okay, number four, the company which manufacture the first soft lenses was Bao Shen Yay. Yay. Number five, the most common plastic in the world is polyethylene. Yay. I was right. Yeah. Yes, yeah. you were. I said that. Very good. Holy moly. Now, these next ones are hard. How do you know? Can we, can we get a point if we use that one on number one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> number six, generally on the average, what percent of fish you eat that actually contains plastic? Um, the answer is 33%. Ooh. Oh, we uh -oh. said way so, more than that. We said yeah, way more. Yeah. How Good long job, ago was that, uh, was that uh, number the average. produced? How long ago yeah. did it? Because Jamie was these days it's 100%. Yeah, it's its most recent. I just got this off. It's most recent data, which I saw. Yeah, it depends on how close closely you look. Yeah, it depends. But it's 28 to 38%. It's on the average, worldwide. Number seven, um, in 2022, about how many million tons of waste plastic was produced? It's about 381 million tons. Oh. Ah. So, how much? So three, 381. So 331 to 431 million tons. Tons. Damn, wow. I was hoping it was billions. Damn. You went for pounds, I think. Didn't my team go pounds? <laughs> I was right asking now. for tons, so yeah, we did. I know. How much is that in stone? <laughs> for, for None. It's balance. plastic, not stones. Stone. Okay. Uh, number eight, the um, Pacific Trash Vortex. It's also called the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Yep. Yes. Plus that one yeah, out. Yeah, we went back and forth on that a bunch Peggy, of times. Peggy, since we did it in pounds, it converts to it in tons correctly. <laughs> is it Also, we got it correct. It's 350,000 tons. That's oh, what I thought. That's fine. Oh, that's good. That'll be fine. Good. We can't Never read, enough. but we know math. 
Yeah. <laughs> Are those short tons or long tons? Or metric tons? Medium, medium tons. They're long tons. Mm -hmm. And then number nine, <laughs> the plastic which is used, the plastic which is used for plumbing piping is PVC, polyvinyl chloride. And what's odd is we actually, um, we had to go out last week and buy some PVC piping and everything in you know, Thailand is metric. But when we went out to buy PVC, they asked what size do we want? We said, well, what do they sell here? Well, do you want two and a half inch, three inch? Worldwide, it's all in inches. Oh, interesting. And, and it's weird. A lot of stuff here is in inches. Um, it's freedom units. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So their standard, the standardized PVC is world standardized in size. On inches, so we have three-inch piping in our house, which is kind of because it's kind all of made up. in America. Yeah, well, they they set up well here. It's made in Thailand, but they they set up the standards in the U.S. So like mattress sizes is in feet. Um, a lot of stuff here is actually in inches and feet, which I was surprised. Hmm. And number ten, um, the average um, typical gas or diesel automobile contains uh, ten thousand parts of plastic. <laughs> ten thousand. <000. laughs> We were a little high. Oh, hey, we were high on all our guesses. I know. Oh, we're, 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 we're very, we're very, very pessimistic. pessimistic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course, yeah. An EV is probably much less than that, but these are gas cars. Uh, good questions. Very good. Good category. Nothing we've covered before. I so just Googled it and said 30,000, but. Uh... Really? Oh, I found it. Really? I, I have no idea how you define that. Yeah, that's a good question too. I mean, the average car. I mean, what, what the it's, heck does that mean? The no. number he came up with. It's the best All I right, could so do. Scores. I want to hear from Donnie. Wanted to play golf today, but he was booked. Seven. How many? Seven. Who had two months and plane crash in the Pagosian pool? Uh, eight. eight. Yep. All right. Wait. What? <laughs> eight is enough. You got six. Rudy's Four Seasons Bell Bonds. Five. And Easy Peasy Beautiful Georgia in Peach, in Peach Shade PO 11358098809. Eight. Yeah. You didn't need to kill your team. Isn't that Phil <laughs> Okay. Eight eight six five seven. Okay, got it. Wonderful. Uh, Boshalam, I spelled that wrong. Okay, so great. So now we have another amazing category. This time it's going to be Robert Palmer. Oh. And go for it, Robert. What do you got for us today? So in the past, I have done country western song names. I am doing more country western song names. No. Oh God. <laughs> really. <laughs> Darn you, Rob. That's an oxymoron. In each case, select the actual song title by the artist that I specify. Mm. Okay. Who, uh, who's muting? We take people, please. I am. Just a sec. You're going to mutate us? I am going to. Just three, two, one. Thank you, Vincent. You're welcome. Okay. So, number one, Charlie Daniels, 1974 song. We'll make the Yanks regret it. Rise up, Southern brothers. The South's going to do it again. Southern pride, Confederation strong. Rebel hearts in our Confederate land. I hear they play most of these at Trump rallies. Number two. Billy Ray Cyrus from 1992. Whiskey soaked and broken down. Honky tonk heartbreak. Tear stained eyes. Tangled love and twisted rodeos. Or achy breaky heart. Number three. Brad Paisley from 2007. If love was a plane. If whiskey was a river. If memories were cowboy hats. If broken promises were wild horses, if tears were country ponds. And yes, I did ask ChatGPT to come up with these after I gave him the real name. 
I tweaked that a little bit. That's cheating because we can't read your mind like we normally would. We'd say, "Would Rob?" Well, I I did say sometimes I tweaked them because they were they were too far off or too close. Uh, Number four, Sarah Evans from 2005, transcendent, supernatural, metaphysical, preternatural, or paranormal. For five. Confederate Railroad from 1989. Lovely chicks, trashy women, loving ladies, hammered hotties, or glamorous gals. Yes, one of those is a real song name. Number six. Toby Keith from 2005. Get wasted and party. Get hammered on Friday. Getting buzzed with Captain Morgan. Get drunk and be somebody. Getting plastered with Jim Beam. Detect the theme there. Number seven. Cletus T. Judd from 2000. How do you milk a cow? How do you tame a cowgirl? How do you rope a bull? How do you dance in them boots? How do you mend a broken heart? Number eight, Brooks and Dunn from 1999. Drowning in memories, trying to forget you. Bury in the past and moving on at last. Lost in the blues, escaping you. Going under, getting over you. Rock bottom roads, leaving love behind. Number nine, Kenny Chesney, 2003. No boss, no schedule, no restrictions. No shoes, no shirt, no problem. No plans, no limits, no concerns. No rules, no regrets, no boundaries. No clocks, no cares, no rules. And most of these are like number one songs, by the way. I mean, the actual song, the answer. Number 10, Alan Jackson, 2000. Hashtag can't forget you, www memory googling you every day and sunday at trying to let you go on facebook you broke my heart and i got a bonus i think because these are difficult and and i think i actually played this one so some people might remember this but i'll give it to you anyway just because it's about trump at a July 23 campaign rally in Iowa just last month, Trump took to the stage to the accompaniment of these possibly prescient song lyrics from a Brooks and Dunn 2001 hit song about the widely different possible fates of American citizens. One can end up going to prison and one might just be president. Name the song. Oh, I remember that being discussed. Any questions? Okay. Vincent, send them to their rooms, please. Good luck. Hi, everybody. I'm your hey, hey. I have no idea. <laughs> I remember the bonus that it happened. <laughs> I, I know awesome. i know two of them i am not a country western person at no, all i know two but i do know two i i think i know two the second but go ahead yeah two is achy breaky heart I yeah for sure so because because achy else breaky would... heart <laughs> yep. 92 oh. yeah, okay that's the only one i thought i would know and that's yeah. it because it, it's too close to being a real song so and the only other one that I'm pretty sure of is number seven, which is how do you dance in in um... them boots? Really? That's sure. what I thought it would be because that's just too too weird. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the song, but you know that one I'm not as hundred. Achy breaky heart. I'm sure, sure, sure. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, but this one I'm pretty sure it's the. Other than that. It's going to be a roll of our die. <laughs> well, it's going to be Janine. She's going to do it. She oh, right. She's yes. out there uh, cleaning the poop off of the deck. So and technically, Janine, you're the most country it. of the four of us. Yeah, Janine, that she's got, she's on mute. So 
She's probably already been saying them all. She's probably singing the songs right now. Still on mute. <laughs> I was muted because dog. So Janine, you're muted. Oh, maybe she's talking okay. to her. No, I was trying to write them down because my chat goes away. Uh, oh, you can just, no, I was just trying to get that. I don't listen to country music, but I do sing it all the time. Western music, which is different, like real cowboy, Sons of the Pioneers, and Gene Autry, and there you go, Janine. I'm putting the questions in for you. you no, know? I have it in my, I have it in my word. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 she's here. She is so sophisticated. Oh, uh, let's I thought see. I was helping. Charlie Daniels. So. This one, I think we might be able to weasel out just in what seems reasonable. Like, you know, Charlie Daniels is the devil went down to Georgia guy. Okay. Right. So, and some of these don't sound plausible. Like, we'll make the Yanks regret it. That's that's a made up song. Yeah. And Southern Pride, maybe, I guess. I don't know. That's gone. If it was just Southern Pride, I'd believe it. But Southern Pride Confederate Strong makes it a little bit <laughs> weird. Yeah. It could... Rise Up Southern Brothers. The South's going to do that it again, or, or they all sound pretty awful. What do you think? They do yeah, all they all are kind of gross in their They're own way. They're kind of cringy, yeah. How about we'll make the Yanks regret it? That kind of seems like, well, none uh, of them are good, but he, Rob could have picked just any old song. It could have been like, one. well, it's nice. He said there were number one hits. Oh, they were? I'm thinking C. Now, John may know. The The thing is, is that a lot of the kids on the work cruise when we're out working will put on uh, country music. The biggest fights were like what radio, but now everybody has their own, you know. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, C sounds good. It's the most sort of yeah. plausible song. Yeah. I don't think it would have confederation. In yeah. it, so. That part is a little weaselly, but less so than the others well and the confederate thing don't forget it is 1974 true yeah <laughs> we got two for sure yeah okay all so, right three uh, three i oh, was thinking d who just showed up mike wolf okay yeah d sounds like a real song guess what we get mike wolf Woohoo! Hey, good. Maybe he knows. Because you guys had one score. He's as <laughs> city slicker as they come. There's no way he's helping. Oh, I know. He's, <laughs> okay. He's going to love this. We can just wait and let him figure it out. Sarah Evans. Never heard of him. What about metaphysical? I've heard of Sarah Evans. That's about it. Have you? I My only thing that came up in my head was preternatural. I don't know why, but. Really? Yeah. Hi, Mike. Hello. Hey, hey Mike. The questions. I'll paste see. the questions in the chat. It's like country a, western uh, songs. It's, oh, country western. Uh, this guy lives in New York City. But I'm from the Midwest. All right. Yeah, rope. So one of the songs is a is a is real is a uh, number one song. Yep. And the others are made up. And I only gave you the questions we don't have yet. I guess technically they could be number two songs, but we yeah. think they're made up. <laughs> you should you should give them number one and three through three as well. Just to I mean I'm pretty sure it's number two, but number one and three we guessed that. Okay, let me give them two. Here's the ones we have. What do we decide for three? We guessed on we guessed D. D Tango Bob and Twisted Rodeos. D as in doy? Yes, as in dad. I guess the South's going to do it again. Uh, achy breaky or Wild horses. That sort of sounds familiar. It's poetic, at least. So we think four is D? Could that, be. Three. That jumped to Feather yeah. That jumped to Adrian's head. Yeah, but it's just a who knows why it did. <laughs> well, that's okay. <laughs> then that jumps it. into Wait, my head. Natural? Preternatural? Yeah. What's that? A song. It's like supernatural, but more within the realm of possibility. Yeah. 
I've never heard of that before. Oh, I'm surprised. You should look that word up. It's a good word. Maybe it's a little big for a country western. Would they be able to sing that in a song? Preternatural. That run normal metaphysics. I mean, they did super, very superstitious. Why not? Yeah, supernatural. Transcend Transcendent just doesn't no. roll off the tongue as musical. But the rest of Supernatural are was, um, isn't that a song that was done by... Um, can't think of who it was oh anyway i mean metaphysical you think about for number nine is d no rules no regrets no boundaries no idea who kenny Charles i don't either sure. i'm just guessing too never heard of the guy i would guess b but that's just a guess b, no shoes no shirt no problem that does yeah. seem to fit yeah. Either one. Okay. The most pithy. I like B. Yeah. B, B it is. Okay. Ten. I wonder if there's so, some good kind of Do you remember bonus? The bonus one? No idea. Okay. I think at number eight, drowning in memories trying to forget you is, is sounds poetic and like it could be a song or a, you know, a title or something. Drowning in memories trying to forget you. <laughs> well, that sounds good. Well, does okay. that sound like it could be a song? Yep. A to say then. Okay. okay. Number five. Um, Confederate Railroad? Really? There's somebody named Confederate Railroad? Apparently. That's why I'm thinking that first one, <laughs> having Confederate in the name might be okay. Lovely chick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm fine with that if you guys think. Trashy women, loving ladies, hammered hotties, glorious Glamorous. I think glamorous gals is too mild. I think we need to... yeah. hammered hotties I is think... made up. Hammered hotties is made yeah. up. Made up, yeah. yeah Lovely made chicks, up. you guys like that? I like trashy women. I like either trashy. Oh, is that right? Yeah, trashy women. I didn't know that about you. She likes she likes trash trashy women. Yeah. Yep. Think that's it. Yeah. We go with trashy women. Yeah, go with trashy women. All right. With a name like Confederate. Great rule of thumb. <laughs> yeah. okay, six, They're right? always more fun. <laughs> uh, six. Uh, C, getting buzzed with Captain Morgan. It's a little on the nose. It feels like product placement. Same with which the it might have been, but. Yeah. So get drunk and be somebody. No. Yeah, maybe. Or then maybe one, get wasted and party or get hammered on Friday. I kind of like C getting busted with Captain Morgan. Let's go. Sure. You want that? Sure. I don't know. We're just making it up, up right? Good. Let's do uh 10, I guess, next. Okay. Oh. Hashtag can't forget you. Well, it's not B. No. Willing my every day. Good. And I don't think it's D or E, so I A or C. Let you go. I like A. I like Yeah, let's go e. with A. Sounds good. All right. A. Okay, who knows the bonus? I saw it. It was recent. That's all I know. Brooks I and Dunn. Was I right, Mike? I said when you were join, you, joining, you were a city slicker. You wouldn't know any of this country stuff. I mean, I know a little bit of country music, but not 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 that much. New glasses? I, said I grew up in Kansas City. That counts for like something. Wide, That's I like country. a wide variety. Of, you know, I like the Lyle Lovett, the uh, Dwayne, Dwight mm. Yoakam. 
Yes, Lyle love, love his stuff. Mike, are those is that a new Where's the Lyle Love it on here? <laughs> are they? These glasses? Are they new? No, they're ones. There's a pile of giveaways at work. They Eating were doing glasses? a I don't remember seeing nothing one. on the bonus. Like, Nobody can remember the bonus song. I don't remember. Hold on, I'm stuck on this. So they're not your prescription, or like, how did that they're work? Reading, out? They're just reading glasses. Reading okay. Glasses. Buy without a prescription. Okay. Rob, hey, when you give the answer, can you give the letter first? Because we don't have the data in front of us and it was too much to write so, down. Susan's going to have to stop, pause the recording because I'm actually going to play these. I will but put- give, But give the letter. I, I'll, put the, I'll put the letters in at the end. I'll put the answers in the chat at the okay. end. Boy, we're gonna we're gonna get to- And Janine, long. I wrote them down. <laughs> okay, so for well, the you've, recording- Well, you've enormously increased my exposure to- country music all right so, for the, Leonard, for the... we, we do country western dancing as you might have heard we have danced to every one of those songs repeatedly for a 10 year uh, don't listen okay. too much it'll lower your iq okay huh? so, so for the recording um question number one was c the south's going to do it again question two it was e achy breaky heart question c it was, uh question three it was a if love was a plane question four it was b Supernatural, B is a boy, and five, it was B, as in Buffalo, called Trashy Woman, and six was D as in Douglas, which is Get Drunk and Be Somebody, seven was A as in Avocado, How Do You Milk a Cow, eight was D as in Doorknob, going under getting over you and nine was b as in balloon no shoes no shirt no problem 10 was b as in banana www.memory and then the last one for the bonus was called only in america thank you rob let's do our scores thank you sorry leonard <laughs> <laughs> we can't I, I i've just been exposed to something i would never Ever, ever, ever. Well, <laughs> faith, faith even knew Be, what the being parody, exposed to something a parody of. That was isn't necessarily a good thing. It's an. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> what do you say? It's called. We got it. We got inoculated. We're inoculated. I yeah. I Leonard, I'll send you a hazmat suit for next time. Yeah, yeah and I was graded. I could have just school. taken the earphones out. It's Would okay. you say thank? <laughs> I was graded in middle school on how well I could do the achy breaky heart dance. We had to learn, well, wow. wow. had to learn how to do that line dance for our PE class. You cool. can't, you can't you ever be seen... a, a <laughs> citizen this, uh, you know, and not. But that, that's that's a pretty pretty standard karaoke song. Have you, you ever realized Weird Al's parody of achy breaky heart? Oh yeah, yeah. It's mm -hmm. um. I'd rather stick an ice pick in my ear. Yeah. Achy <laughs> <laughs> breaky heart was a huge hit yep. but he has an even bigger hit he has the biggest hit of all time can you imagine that what is it that that old country road song no one knows it but it was number one for 19 weeks well, no, that was his. i thought that was the one done by the other guy yeah old town road really. something like that little featuring, nas x, featuring oh. yeah, little nas nas x. Yeah, by featuring Billy Ray Cyrus. Oh, that's I true. can't believe yeah. we're talking right. Western. Okay. You know, I thought Town when you said Road, that, I thought when you said that before out. you were joking because you know he's the father of, of millions. No, he, he has the biggest of read, all yeah, time. His daughter is also a singer. Yeah, Billy Ray yeah, Hannah Montana. Sort of. You got a TV all right. Show. So scores. Uh, got, the team that was in the lowest place got uh, Mike Wolf. I was just going to see if you close up the defense. Rudy's Four Seasons Excuse Bell me. Bonds. Four. Which oh. was Rob's team. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what? Eight is enough? We got six. And Donnie wanted to play golf today, but he was booked. <laughs> I like that. Eight, right? 
Eight. Yeah. All righty. Hard to yeah. believe, but eight, yes. Okay, easy breezy, beautiful Georgia and peach shade, P O one one three five eight oh nine. Eight oh nine. We got nine. We got nine. Wow. Oh. Who had two months and plane crash in the Bogosian pool? Seven. <laughs> wow, six point eight, just the same thing Jamie mm. had. Wow. Oh. Wow. That really spread things out a little bit. Okay, so let's take a nice photo, a photograph. Yeah. Hamilton, will you be in this one? Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> He's trained well. All right, <laughs> let's get over to our photo photograph. Deborah's here now. Oh, hey, Paula. Paula's here. Paula's here. Are you here. trying to buy your way into something I, else? I, I see Why don't I have it yet, Alan? Up on. She's going to be on team <laughs> two. Okay, here yes. we go. Everybody ready? One, two, three. Small Hamilton. When do I get it, Alan? There we are. Oh, wow. Look at that. Kevin, the Old Town Road song is not a Billy Ray Cyrus song. He remixed it. It's Little Nas X. It's a gay right. black man song. No. Yeah. Featuring Billy Ray Cyrus. Read the rest no, of it. No, he did a remix. He didn't was it feature on it. He did a remix. He did a remix. Can we so. argue a little bit longer now? Well, he's no, listed on he's listed on it. We're gonna take a five-minute break. It's a remix. Five-minute break. Five break. So that song though was in the X Files and the newer oh. season X Files when um Mulder, like I don't know, he was on some sort of drugs or trip or something, and he was dancing to that. So <laughs> Icky, that is my Yes, so that is oh, God. like um, the crazy thing about this is I'm now reading the Wikipedia page, and that song, the country song Old Town Road, actually was a remix of a Nine Inch Nail song. They actually dubbed part of it. This, 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 this is just weird. This huh. is really weird. Okay, I'll see if you. So, Paula, I, I asked Susan to postpone me till you got here. Uh, I don't know if you would have helped, but it was a country western <laughs> song names. I would not have been able to help. No, oh, okay. I don't know most music, and I definitely don't know country music. You might as well have a hip hop. Okay. Category. I I... <laughs> All right. So then, then, then I'm okay. With that. So I, I'm, I'm confused, Rob. Is this country music, as opposed to country and western music? I. I it's a confusing it's genre. Confusing. Country and western. It's yeah. It's it's a it's a confusing genre because you can say there's like. There's hillbilly music, there's bluegrass music, there's a kind of a more modern derivative, which is called country western, which is a mix of old style country and what used to be like cowboy western. It's it's weird. Well, there's also country rock. Well, yeah, the, the newer Where stuff. Where I come from, they got rock. two kind of music, country and western. Or as the lady in the bar at the in the movie The Blues Brothers, we got both kinds, country and western. <laughs> it was the bar, the bar, the band. We play both kinds, country and western. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It's it's if you, if you I I tried to look this up a long time ago when we started dancing country western. It's very it's very confusing, and of course, as any music genre you know changes over time, and people don't who like the older stuff don't accept that the new stuff is part of it, and they want to name it something else. So, I remember like twenty years ago when, when Shania Twain was starting to be big. She's Canadian, by the way, and singing in the genre. It was like, this is not country. She's freaking rock and roll. What's going on here? And like, no one would listen to her song and say she's rock and roll. I I I uh, played a concert um, with Vince Skill. Um, I don't know if you know him, you know him at all. And I was with his Christmas show, and uh, it was really funny because. You know, what we normally do for those things is, you know, you have a one run through in the afternoon, you play through the program, you know, the guy comes in, sings a few songs, and then you play the concert that night. And uh, one of the one of the other bass players in the uh, it was a real stunning of uh, long blonde hair, blue eye, really nice, nice looking lady who and uh, she was a she's real country. And she wanted to sit in the front of the section so she could be closest to to Gil when he when he was walking by on the stage. So I didn't know who the hell he was, but I, I figured before he came when he when he arrived in his limo, I went up to the limo and I introduced myself, and I said, "Hey, there's." And he had done this. She had played the show with him the year before. So I said, "Listen, there there's there's a bass player sitting in our in our section. Her name is Brenda. She's a big fan of yours. Would you do me a favor?" At some point during the rehearsal, would you just go and say hi to her? 
So sure. And, you know, he's a big, tall, good looking guy and he's going through a divorce and she's going to going through a divorce. So I figured this is like a shit. I was going to get them together here. You know, so at the rehearsal, he's walking by. Finally, he comes by and he walks right up to her and he puts his face right into her and he goes, hi, Brenda. Remember me? And she just turns red as a beat. She wouldn't. And she's never shot as short on words, but she couldn't say a word. She wouldn't even look at him. And, it's, and he starts laughing. He walks away and she sort of just looks down the line and she goes, who did that? Yes. <laughs> but it was just we, so funny. We know who, we and know he just kept giving, he just kept giving her the eye the whole time, but it was nice afterwards. They got a nice picture together, but uh, it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. You're yeah. a matchmaker. Yeah, that's right. I should have. That's it. <laughs> And you're going to tell us that was what, Taylor Swift? No, no, no. no. <laughs> no. no. That's okay. She or... married some, she, he did good. Then she, she married somebody uh, with lots of money. So she did all right. We went to a, a free show. It was by uh, James Ursay, the owner of the Indianapolis Colts. And he has this huge collection of rock memorabilia. And there was like yeah. 10, 15,000 people there. It was a free show at the uh, Boston TD Garden. And that guy was one of the singers. He came out there. and But my wife was like, he only did a half an hour. That wasn't enough. <laughs> <laughs> he did a half an hour of his stuff. They, they had, they had uh, a lot of guys there. Uh, Peter Wolf was another featured guy. It was really cool. And it was all free. If you get a chance to see it, Jim Ursay's collection, it's worth seeing. Free is good. Yeah. yeah they had like the Beatles um, drum kit from Ed Sullivan show. A bargain at a, half the price. A <laughs> num yeah. A number of uh, very famous, exceptional, rare uh, guitars from all different rock bands through the, you know, different eras and stuff. Posters from the, uh, the show that Billy, that um, uh, they were supposed to go to the rock and roll show that Buddy Holly was supposed to go. They had posters and stuff like that. All this collectible stuff worth millions of dollars. And they, they put it all in glass cases and you can walk around and look at it. Then they have all these famous people sing. It was really, it was really worth it. It was really, we stood in line for a couple of hours, but it was worth it. Have any of you guys been like into it uh, in Scottsdale? They have the, uh, the MIM, the musical instrument museum. Yeah, I was well, there. It was cool. Yeah. Yeah, if you ever get a chance, I was told I should go there because that's what I do. But uh, you know what? I know I know families that went there and they told their kids, okay, we're going to go see the Musical Instrument Museum. And it's like, oh. But you know, at the end of their trip, they'd gone to see the Grand Canyon and the and and the Colorado River and everything like that. And they asked what was the best part. And they all said it was the uh, the MIM. It's fantastic. I mean, it's yeah. it's and it's divided into sections of the world, really, with different kinds of music. But some of the and they have a rock and roll section there with all it's some absolutely incredible stuff. It's uh, you can you can spend easily a day there. It's uh, really a, an amazing place. It's the Musical Instrument Museum. Yeah, it's super where is cool. it? Yeah, where is it? It's in Scottsdale, Arizona. 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 Otherwise known as Phoenix. I, I didn't get oh, next door to Phoenix. Yeah, I didn't get the beginning scenes. of this, but there's no museum that I would prefer over the Grand Canyon ever. Absolutely. <laughs> the, the thought um, I'll of tell you what is yeah, just you know, incredibly disturbing. I thought it was overrated. Giant hole in the ground. That's right. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> well, you know, the funny thing is with the with, I finally got there a couple of years ago, went down to see the, the, the Grand Canyon. It's so weird because it is so big that it doesn't look real. You know, it, the, it looks like it looks like a backdrop. Uh, it's, it looks it's like so... it was painted for a Hollywood movie. It doesn't look. Have real. you been in it? What's so, that? Kyle, have you been? Can you tell in the, the difference Grand... between the Grand Canyon? No, I went. I, I went kayaking. I went kayaking down on the on the we, river. We've hiked down it, and it's it's amazing. No yeah. people. It's wonderful. They say it's the number one spot in the world for sunset and sunrise photos. Mm. We we hiked out in the Grand Canyon. Yeah, it win, it wins all the rankings of by photographers. <laughs> We, we Taj Mahal is number two. Lizard going over at the top, like we started out about three a five k below the rim, which was about halfway at Indian Garden, and it was a nice 50, 60 degrees. And at the top, there was like 
10 inches of snow on the ground. Yeah. It was it freaking took yeah, a the, long the, time. Yeah, the north rim gets snow. It's closed off this every was year. The, this was the south rim. Yeah. This was the, we, we hiked the weekend after Thanksgiving. So we didn't have to get up really early because there was no actual issues of us getting dehydrated from the heat. Yeah. Peaceful hiking weather. I've yeah. never hiked down, but I've been to Zion a few times and that's like the reverse Grand Canyon. You start at the river level and you mm -hmm. look up. So you've got this great, cool, smoky green jade river to, to walk in. Mm -hmm. Hot yeah, day, it's great. We walked down to the Colorado River in the middle of the night and I actually had a fox stare at me and it and I was just like, we're, we're, we're leaving. I don't I might run into a bobcat or cougar. I'm going back to the camp. It's a, watch out. It's a bay. Mm -hmm. But you and we also mailed ourselves postcards back. So we've got mule mule uh because they to bring everything out by mule and they take it up. So they stamp it and say this is the only mm -hmm. mail that you can have delivered in the US system by mule. <laughs> no, I used to have my mother-in-law drop it off the mailbox, so that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> but back to the mim, you should go. It's really cool. Oh, it sounds it sounds really cool. It's better than a hole in the ground. <laughs> but the the idea that it beats the Grand Canyon is just hey, there's room yeah, but for, for other kids, the Grand Canyon and the mim. Yes, and for but for a little kid. You know, so you know it's just another big place, but it, it is it is worth absolutely worth going to see if you're if you're if you're there. Mm. Then if you're not there, it's not worth going to see. <laughs> Does anybody remember? Well, then the it's not Simpsons much. Episode they're... where they went to the Grand Canyon. Brady Bunch, right? No, the bridge. The Brady we Bunch. Went to the Grand Canyon. Yeah, the Flintstones. Had. Oh, the Flintstones did. Oh, geez. so they turn up. And they say it's a sign, Grand Canyon. They look down; it's just a little stream. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Okay, we're back. And we're yes, back. you do. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> okay, so nice we are picture on there, round Bill. three, and round three is Ron. Actually, Ron. we have announcements, don't we? Oh, Speaking yeah. of Grand Canyon, Susan's been gone so long; she forgot the format. Oh, yeah. God, how do I do these things? I forget things. Mm. Okay. So we have announcements. I see that Kyle is going to have a, um, not Kyle, Carl is going to have a. She's doing that on purpose. Skeptic now. in the, no, actually, skeptic in the pub tomorrow <laughs> night sad. with Dr. Tahar Rahman. How'd you find this person? Uh, well, I didn't. WWF the, someone else in the, in the group did. That looks interesting. Is that going to be recorded? Uh, I doubt it. Well, what's the point? Record him. What's the guy's name again? It's a woman. Oh. I put a link in the chat. Well, she said Dr. Toro Tanaka. And uh, Rob Palmer was on a show called The Nonprofits. And he did oh, a nice. little bit on the... Um, Havana syndrome, which we've had a trivia category on, so you guys should all be really good at that. Yeah, so on that show, it's one of the shows from the Atheist Experience Network, the Atheist Community of Austin, and it's the only show that's not a call-in show. Their theme is they have subjects. They they pick the producers pick four articles that have something to do with mm, skepticism, mostly humanism or atheism, and they have guests on, and each guest takes the lead in doing one of the articles and. They invited me on and they gave me an article I had no interest oh, in. And I said, yeah. Oh, okay. How about if we do Havana syndrome? Sorry. Um, and they said, oh, okay, we did that already. I said, yeah, but you did it badly. I'd <gasps> like to do it again. So they named this episode Revisiting Havana Syndrome. And I finally introduced the, the, the concept of mass psychogenic illness, which did not come up at all the first time. Wait, who did it the first time? Four other people. And they didn't get mass psych psychogenic no, illness no it's like... no the, the whole the whole point no, was... obviously havana syndrome is caused by sonic weapons right what, the, Rob? everyone knows that that's correct everyone knows so so th th it was interesting actually the first one because there was one article they picked which said government says it's not aliens causing havana syndrome and that's all they talked about and i didn't yeah. need 
in every reading I've ever done, I've never seen, even seen that. And it might have been one person in one interview who said that, and that's what they they spent twenty minutes talking about. It was ridiculous. Well, you anyway. know, it's always aliens. Yeah. <laughs> well, I put the link not in saying the it's chat. aliens, but, but it's, it's Cuban aliens. Alien. Uh, and uh, yes, and also I got an article published, which is a video interview with someone else on this very screen. I don't see him right now, but he's here. There Richard he is. Saunders. He just waved. Uh, we talked about UFOs because of our mutual interest, and uh, that got published also this week. So that was cool. That was a great interview. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm glad oh, you liked thank it. You. More, I tried to make that more of a conversation. So, but yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it was, it's great, it, great exchange. Thank you. Okay, so we also have Adrian Hill, his first published article. She's got five pages, five pages five in Skeptical Inquirer. This is the uh, well, volume forty-seven, like number five. Hmm? In in the uh, in the print edition. Yeah, Ooh. this is the first page. Really, you guys. You're they, on. They paper. had to go. The, the CSI had to buy new, more paper and and ink supplies to do this. <laughs> well, yeah. they kept asking. They kept asking. Very proud of her for getting that in there. It was a it was a lot of work actually, a lot of reading, a lot of research. It was fun. It was interesting. But did you I get wish... your special author copies job. of the magazine? I have not. Apparently, because oh. I've just talked to Julia about it today. I apparently the person who does that got COVID, so they will be coming in the mail at some point. Okay, so it's on but the just, way. It's on. It right. will be on the way at some point. Yeah. You have to quarantine those. <laughs> yeah they'll feel better by the time they get back that'll, that'll be all right you'll you'll be you'll be cool it was pretty exciting yeah you should be excited it's really really nice um and i'm jealous because adrian told me her mother read it yeah <laughs> i know i'm not jealous because her mother didn't read, read my article Look, i'm, I'm sure, hey, my I'm sure adrian's her. mother would be willing to read your article too, yeah, Rob. No. <laughs> she probably what would have to do i have to ask somebody else's child to read my articles yeah. so i can feel like <laughs> Some child somewhere. My kids don't read them, but my mother does. I think there's something about the mother, right? They, they does your, does your mother listen to you on the skeptic zone? She does. Ooh. She does. Yes. She doesn't do it. Every I knew day. we had a listener in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> yep, just one. <laughs> she does it for the giggles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Oh, my kids could care. But here's what she sent me. She, she, uh, she said, loved your, um, she says, of course, I love the section where my long ago typing skills were mentioned. And then she says, I remember you saying, while well, I was speeding across the keyboard. I even had time to flip my wedding ring back in place because it would get out of place as she was typing <laughs> during her typing. It was pretty incredible how fast she would type. It was unbelievable. Sounded, uh, it sounded That's like amazing. a machine gun in the house it was quite something she was a stenographer court reporter you guys she was a court reporter and so she had to do transcripts and she did some transcripts of some fairly famous people one of them being notorious the clifford olson the ser the serial killer of canada which one was that <clears throat> well look him up he probably has a wikipedia page Cl oh, so, so so you said the that means you've only had one in the whole history no, of they had country. the barbie killings yeah those they we've had a, had a lot of, but he's probably one of the most notorious ex except for the ones back east the the what do you call them oh god from toronto oh, bernardo? yeah bernardo thank you okay. is this clifford olson okay oh he's died in september 11th mm. wow okay so Carl, I mean Kyle. Hey, hey. I hear you have a you have a podcast. I do indeed. This week on Data Skeptic, I, I it's a particularly technical episode. Uh, truth be told, I talked to somebody who invented a rather cute sounding system called Cuttlefish. If you've heard a lot about the modern deep learning and uh, when they say oh it has millions or billions or trillions of parameters, and uh, what does it mean to configure such a system that no person could do? Uh, the researcher I spoke to this week thinks he can maybe turn that down to a single knob or something like that, where anybody could configure how AI is going to work. So we have a rather technical under the hood discussion about these ideas. And that's this week on Data Skeptic. As opposed to all your other non-technical. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess non you're right. Yeah. Once in a while. Apparently, are, so you some... were on a an Indian podcast. 
Oh, I was. Uh, yeah, that's coming back around on the Rationable podcast that I did a, a little while ago with Abhijit. Mm -hmm. Good conversation. Shonda. Oh, so it's not new. I just saw it suggested to me on YouTube. It's not you. It's not new, but maybe YouTube has just you know hit a groove Ooh. with you. Okay, cool. it's got a groove. So Richard Saunders, I hear you have a podcast. Somebody told me that. Really? Yeah. It's called it's called the Susan Gerbic Experience. No, it's more likely it's Adrian Hills. It's a Canadian zone or something. Well, you were on you were on twice last week on my. Show. I know. I did an interview with Kenny Biddle. Coming up on the next episode of the Skeptic Zone podcast, episode 777 on the 27th of August, or the 26th in this part of the world, Adrian Hill talks about the number 777. Is it lucky? In fact, we've got a special guest right at the top of the show, who I won't spoil at the moment, who sends a musical message to the Skeptic Zone. Also coming up, a conversation with Rob Palmer about scamming psychics on the Skeptic Zone, and also Adrian Hill again. This is getting repetitive with Australian Skeptics News. And the Trove segment this week looks at the curse of ancient Egypt. All that and more on episode 777 of the Skeptic Zone podcast. That explains your name now, I understand. Where you got to say, oh. it's under 777. Is that the curse of like opening up mummies' tombs and people who got, you know, died because they did that supposedly? Something like that, yeah. Mm. Wow. Wonderful. But if there's honey there, you can eat it. <laughs> <laughs> very good. I'll, I'll let you eat it, Kyle. I'm going to plug like my uh, website one more time because I am very, 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 very close. Mimi varies in there. To How close? 1,000 subscribers. I'm at 838, and once you hit a thousand, then you can get monetized, and I can start paying for my milk duds. So it would be really nice to get that, get hit that a thousand. I want my goal was to hit it by August 31st. I don't know if I'm going to do it, but boy, I'm really close. Um, anything else anybody else has got? That's the YouTube grief vampire one. Mm -hmm. I'm share, share my videos and ask people to subscribe. Hmm? Yeah, I'm going to start telling people to subscribe. Psychic I, I got 2,500 followers on on my my Facebook one, but some of them don't come back once oh, they listen yeah. to me. I scare well, them away. YouTube, so I'm trying. Yeah, yeah. Please, please share. <laughs> it's fine. But I really want to get my thousand. And here comes Deborah again. Um, I'm going to be in Dallas in a couple weeks for a seance conference um i, oh, I, I want to go out of town he's in caspian's going to alabama for work let me know when you when you're going to go to lizzie lizzie borden museum <laughs> yeah that's true so i'm going to be it's gone a bread and bread in, bed and breakfast um, uh 7th 8th 9th and 10th of september so just let me know all right, we ready to start back up again? I'm excited to hear what Ron's got for us. So, Ron, you're up. I am up. Okay. Country music. Yes, it's real. More and more. Ice cream, did you get? It's about countries, but not quite that. Um, some of you might know that my wife and I, uh, in the last month, beginning of this month, went on a river cruise in Europe. So today's category, number three, is Viking Cruises, Paris to Prague. And what I'm going to be doing in this trivia contest, it's about the various places we visited on our cruise. So you get to come on our cruise with us. Right. And and unlike us, you won't be freezing to death. You won't be getting rained on every day, and you won't leave with COVID. Uh, you guys got COVID? Yeah, we got COVID on the trip. Shoot. Oh, yeah, we we thought we were just sick like half the other people on the boat, and then we got home tested and found out. Guess what? We just infected all of Prague because we had COVID. So here we go. We're going to go the very first place we started since this was going from Paris to Prague. It's obviously Paris. So question number one, which Paris museum began its life as a fortress and a palace? 
I'm going to mute everyone. Three. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Two, one. Don't forget to unmute yourself. Oh, he's doing that so professionally now, Vincent. Yes. Wow. I'm impressed, Vincent. Thank you. And so, although this was a cruise, the first part of it, we actually ended up spending in a hotel in Paris but before we got on the boat. So we'll give you a couple of questions here. The next one, what major Paris square was the site of the guillotine during the French Revolution? Once we left Paris, we hopped onto a bus and we to worked our way over towards the boat. While we were there, we stopped in Luxembourg and went to the American Cemetery. Today's question is, what famous American general is buried in the American Cemetery in Luxembourg? Finally, after going to Luxembourg, we got into Germany, which is where we spent most of the cruise, and we got on our boat. And we did this by telling uh, by having you tell me what is the oldest city in Germany. It's also the birthplace of Karl Marx, and it's also where we boarded the boat, the Viking Alston. Now, the next question, you're going to have to sort of understand the answer to number four, because in this question, what river did we actually start and spend most of our cruise on? And it started at that city. While we were in the cruise, one of the cities we went to was Kokum, and leads me to the next question. What is the name of the castle near Kokum, said to date back to the 11th century, that was raised by the troops of Louis XIV in 1689, and then was rebuilt in 1866? Oh. And in case you really like castles, I have another one. As we move further down this river and eventually switched over to a different river, this castle overlooking the town of Braubach is the only hilltop castle on the Middle Rhine to escape destruction or ruin. And that's from both the wars and all of the fun and game destruction that went over hundreds of years of French fighting against the Germans. As we continued on, we actually ended up getting onto a bus to go to this next place because it was on a different river. What city is home to the oldest university in Germany, founded in 1386? It's also where my wife went to school for a year and a half. And for even more trivia, it's where we went for part of our um, honeymoon. Not that any of you, except for maybe Alan, would have any idea where this is um, for those hits. Number nine. This city, known as Germany's best preserved medieval walled town, is one of the main film locations for Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. <laughs> that's trivia. Wow. Yeah. Uh, then we went, we went to COVID, but that's where we were sick as a dog and ended up not actually even seeing much of any of it there um, because we were sick. And then finally, we got off the boat and we took a, a four hour drive to. Prague for our final stay where we got infecting everybody that I used to work with there. So I'm going to throw a Prague true or false at you. According to legend, the man behind the creation of Prague's astronomical clock tower, Hannes Karolinum, was blinded by the old town councillors with a hot poker. They did this out of fear that Hannes would recreate the clock in another city and make this one less famous and unique. 
And that was the end of our tour. Wow. And they didn't do like a um, like COVID tests on you guys or anything like that when you started to get sick? Nope. People were coughing and skipping trips and all that stuff because we were all just hacking away. Um, they didn't test at all. Wow. And So it uh, wasn't yeah. a three-hour tour then? Three-hour tour. It <laughs> felt, there were times where it felt like it, yes. But uh, it was actually a good trip despite the fact the temperature never broke 70 and it rained almost every single day we were there. I'm, and we I were, and we were sick. Pluses. It still turned into a good trip. Those would be pluses for me. Yeah. Except for well, the COVID part. Yeah, that part didn't help any. Any questions? No, but it sounds like a fun category. I like that you're just throwing, you know, this is kind of up there in the, I worked, here's the places I worked at, 10 places I worked at or whatever, and you, it's random, but they're all figure outable. All right. And, and sorry, before you go, the one last thing here, as I was almost going to try and do what uh, Rob did back a while ago and take the trivia because they had a trivia night just like that. Um, ended up there weren't enough really good questions there. But we had to name our team. And since we were on the um, the Viking Alspin, I came up with the name for our team. We were Alspin and the Chipmunks. Oh. Oh, that's great. No bettering. That's great. <laughs> now go off and answer your questions. All right, all right. Oh, I, I get to send you. To, oh, no. Okay, Vince. I'll does. put Good Paul stuff. and Deborah on their teams. Let me just see who I've got. Paul. Oh, I'm in the wrong room. Please change me, Susan. You have. You still have your powers. Oh, okay. Deborah, you're in three. Mm -hmm. And Paula, you are going to two. It won't let me move myself. I think you have to do it. No, oh, I don't see how that it doesn't make sense. Rob, I, I, don't, I can go to another two, room, but I can't make three, myself go. go two? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, I am your cool. new team member. Hey, look at that. Cool. I will be less than helpful. Yeah, me too. I have a couple guesses. Mm -hmm. Oh, Patton's a really good answer. I got an email. Very late. Okay. Number one is Versailles. Number Versailles? one is Versailles. Paris Museum be began its life as a fortress and a palace. Yeah, a palace of Versailles. Vers that sounds Versailles was wasn't, wasn't a fortress though, was it? <clears throat> is that how you spell it? it? It was a palace. How you spell it. I don't. Well, I don't know. Whatever. Okay. I don't know what else I'd put, but I've never been to France. Uh, Okay, and, and I then should know, I should know this from with all the history I've read. Um, Karl Marx. It's on the river. Is it on the Rhine? No. The what Rhine's... is the main river there? Did you just ask the dog? <laughs> Lee? I well, saw you go, hmm? like you were asking the dog. Um, yeah, Brad, did you know that you're muted? She's also frozen. Oh, and she's frozen. Oh. Okay, number six is probably that one that's on the mountain that they do jigsaw puzzles of. It's called the Reiner Ritter. Right, right, Rowan right, right, Castle. Um, it's it's on the like top of peak of a mountain. It's in really good shape. Um, I'm talking about the one that um, was um, It's like that no, long, three it's Like a fairy tale palace. The, no, um, not the. I'm not thinking of. Um, oh, okay. Gutenberg's one. I'm thinking of the one that's. Something like something like that, Rihanna. Yeah. Right, right, right. No. <laughs> I, I don't know how to pronounce well, it. I, I've got the jigsaw puzzle. It's it's massive, oh. and it's got to be that old. Okay, 
Karl Marx was born in 1864. What? No, he wrote he wrote um his his um the book in 1864. No, no, it's the birthplace of Karl Marx. I know. Four. All I know is all I know. E R I E R. I think is the name of the city. Say it again. T e R I E R. I don't know how you pronounce it. Trier. Okay, just write that number. Question four. Question four. Okay. Yeah. R. E R. Hughes and Tom. R E R. T T. Tom. E T R I E R R E R Trayer I I E R I E R Trayer Sure I E R Easy T R I E I E R There you go Trayer Okay heard of it So what river would be off of the Trayer That's the Mosul. I think it's M O S M O S E L L E. Yeah, I know. Okay. I've been to Germany. I know a few things about Germany, but not a whole bunch. Worst, the worst internet in the world. Name of the castle. Okay, so this is. I think six is this. Retrodivid. Richindenen, rich, rich, rich something. Two syllables more. Rich. <laughs> oh. I don't know. Okay. Copy okay, to... you know what? Seven is the one I'm thinking of. That's the Richard. Um, Richard. And the city is home to the oldest university in Germany, founded in 1386. It's also where my wife went to school. I think it's, I think he mentioned this once before, and I think it's this city I went to. And it's called, and it's got that princess castle there, I think. And it's called Gut. Gutenberg? Gutenberg? I think it's, is that what it's called? Well, is it Guten, Gutenberg? Is that sound like a city, Lee? I. It's a castle, it's on a big, huge hill. And and we went to a we had a university there. A lot of people I know, well, not a lot of people, but I've I've heard of other people who who've gone to the university there. It's really big, and I think I might have mentioned it at one point. And Rob might Ron might have said that something about him going there and his wife going there or something. It sounds familiar. Well, it's it's an answer. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, no, and it's supposed to be a number eight. That's oh, number eight. eight. Yeah, yeah. So oh, okay. six to eight. Um, and number seven is the one. Is what I was talking about that is massive, and it's on the peak of a hill, and it's called Rainer. Right, right, some, something, something. Where's Karen tonight? Is Deborah going to come back? She says, I don't know any of these. Her internet's messed up. Oh. She says, I don't know any of these. Hmm. Okay, so let's see. Just texting Karen. Um, medieval Wall Town is one of the main locations for Chitty Bing Bang. Chitty Chitty Bing Bang. Absolutely no idea. Name a city in Germany. 
I. What's one of the. Well, I know they flew around, you know, Mad King Ludwig's castle in Bavaria. <gasps> oh, Mad King. But that's Bavaria. But I have no idea what town that castle is in. That's the name. You know what? That's the castle I'm thinking of for. Um, well, the one that, yeah, the castle that's like. It's on a hill. It's actually the one that Disney modeled, you know. Sleeping she, Beauty's castle on. Yeah. So that's the one I went for number seven. So if you wanted to put that down, Mad King. Well, yeah, but that's on the Middle Rhine. This castle's down in Bavaria. I think I'd be too far south. Isn't it Germany? Well, yeah, but okay. Okay. I uh, put that Mad King, whatever it is, because I mean, what else we gonna put? Well, it's Mad King Ludwig, and it's like Neuchenstein or some. Okay. I do. I don't remember how you pronounce. It's sort of it. what I was trying to say. Yeah. Um. Prague, true or false? I mean, I know he's a. Good buddy of uh, Wagner. <laughs> That's about all I can remember. Who? Oh, Ludwig. Yeah. What else? And and he's because of the amount of money he spent on the castles. Why he got the name Mad King? The mouse is acting up. Okay, well, ten. I'm gonna. I'm guessing is true because the story is just so wacko that it. And. Isn't that awful? And in medieval times, they would, did some pretty disgusting things to people. Certainly wouldn't have ever done anything for them. I think other people would say, I, "I'm not going to have anything to do with that." Okay. So true for number 10. Um, um, best preserved medieval wall town. How about some of the ones like, you know, Dresden or, or um, Frankfurt or. Come on, damn it. Okay, what major Paris square was the site of the guillotine during the French Revolution? So what would be the most famous where they would have the most, like where the king lived and everything outside of Versailles? Where would that be? So Paris square, the square, Versailles, the Versailles square, or here comes Deborah. I beat you to it. Did you let her in? Oh, good, because my mouse is acting up. Is she getting oh. dropped again? Yeah, she keeps getting dropped. Hmm. So how do, you I, how do I bring her into this room? You go to the breakout rooms at the bottom. You see a little red thing there? Oh, I can't. I, I have to be in the. I have to stop share then, I think. No, you I can. I can assign her there. Uh, you're you with. Okay. So signed you're to three, right? Yes. She's coming to three. Yeah, because my mouse is. I, got, I think I'm going to have to put some new batteries in here. Let me see if got Theoretically, I just assigned her to three. There, she's coming. Yeah. Tell her we've been waiting for her. Yeah. Yeah. Can we we haven't answered it until you shut up. Yeah, no. we said we'd wait till you got yeah. here. Because yeah. <laughs> I because I told you I don't know any of them. <laughs> <laughs> so how many you got? What about two or three left? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sure a few were we're, we, we're we're having a tough time. I'm not surprised. Uh, Add King Ludwig. So okay. before this trip, I couldn't have answered most of these questions. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific. <laughs> I probably. By the way, well, well, what was the tenth song in that in Rob's category? I my thing cut out right then. Only in America. You mean the bonus one? No, yeah. the the last one other one <clears throat> he was just about to play it and then my computer cut out um hang on let me see if i can go back to it that's okay yeah i really um like the singer 
I am going to try out to you. Oh, that was a www.memory, which we got right. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I wanted to know. Not that one. No, there was one so, that I really liked the singer. He was kind of. This hard. is the, um, I don't know if you can see this. This is the trashy woman guy, the guy that actually wrote that song. <laughs> he came, he came with here with Jerry Jeff Walker and they, he opened for him and played that song. It was, uh, God, I don't know, it was like around 2000, Bureau, or around. I don't know. Oh, nine, no, it was in the 90s, I think. Wait, let me see. Anyway, it was a long time ago. <laughs> Your wealth of information. Ah, my it was, when, it was when they had dial up internet. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's what Deborah's got today. <laughs> I think so too. I probably work better than what I have. Um, a big is, it, is it safe to go for the two minute warning now, or do you want more time? No, go ahead. Well, oh yeah, no, everyone go. seems to be down to you know about two questions maximum. So, so yeah, we. Do you know anything about Germany geography, uh, Deborah? No. You know, I've been there, but I went to Frankfurt and I went to Dresden and I went to. Um. Yeah, yeah, this Prague, this CD is Dresden, this CD Berlin, is from like uh, is it two thousand? When's it from, Deb? Um, eight nineteen eighty nine or ninety. Oh, geez, that's a long time ago. That's trashy woman songs from oh, there. Oh, that's not the other one. <sighs> no. <laughs> That is oh. when they had dial-up internet. Holy I man. know. I remember that. God, I remember dial-up. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And that, and that, no that awful noise. That made. Thank you. Oh, well, we didn't know any better. We never thought it would be this fast. That's for sure. <laughs> video. You got to be kidding. Yeah. You able to do video in the future? Video. Uh, yeah. 300 BPS modem. Boy, I was... I was oh, that's, well, you were afraid that's of you, didn't you? I was even I was even further back. Oh yeah. No, I was I was like cutting edge. Uh yeah. <laughs> yeah I didn't, I didn't even have a hard drive. I had a cassette player for my computer to load programs. Oh wow. <laughs> Holy moly. Uh Holy Toledo. We had little discs. And if you wanted anything that was wasn't, you know, that you wanted to up download. You had to like set it and then go do something else and yeah. come back later. <laughs> yeah. And I know when we finally got some computers in the office, we couldn't get them to, um, we couldn't build a LAN. And so we had, you know, what they used to call sneaker net, which is, you know, take a disk out of one, run it back <laughs> over to another. Because in those days, we all had cluster controllers and everybody had terminals off one basic unit. And you'd have like, This is hard. Some of you guys will probably have done really well. Yeah. Well, traveled more. I than took I German in high school fifty-five years ago, so that's <laughs> that. That's my knowledge of Germany, and it turns out I remember a bunch. <laughs> I took German, a German history class in in college. And I learned a lot about Germany, German history, but I don't remember places. It was all about like. Well, you know, the all other stuff. But hey, I, Rob, <laughs> Rob, yeah. this is uh, this is Chris Wall who, who wrote Trashy Woman. Oh, okay, and this this CD's from 1990. So, you, you got that one right, then, huh? I did, I know that song. Very good. I heard the original guy that wrote it sing it. Hmm. In Monterey at a little tiny bar hmm. huh. where he opened for Jerry Jeff Walker. Okay. You know, I think um, when, you go on, when you go on a Viking River cruise or any kind of cruise, even a cruise down the Thames River in London, you get a view of Europe that is more ancient than the one you get from walking around on land. Because in the, in the year 10, 1000, 1300, whatever, the, the the waterways were the arteries of transportation. 
more, right. much more so than than land. I mean, they had transportation mm -hmm. over land, but but you see that the ancient things were built along the rivers. Right. That's and, where and all, they hardly all had the anything, castles and everything. Yeah. Anything yeah. near air, near airports either back then. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> or the autobahn. All right. Mm -hmm. let, let let me know if this is going to show up here. I've got a, a PowerPoint. Oh, we get pictures. Trip okay. pictures. Is, 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 like is this showing up oh, for you guys? Cool. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. lovely. Cool. I love There's it. The map. Okay, so this is this is the actual tour. It's called the Cities of Light map uh, tour, actually. So we started in Paris. You will actually start seeing some of the answers to your questions or uh, to my yeah. questions here. But this is the route that we ended up taking to go through primarily through Germany, a little bit through Luxembourg. And so that's the overall. And you can see here how much was actually on the boat, how much was motor, motor coach and where we stopped. But I'm not trying to sell trips to um, biking. But anyways, what's the, what's what? How much commission do you get? How much what? Commission. How much com commission. Uh, it depends on how many uh, you guys join up. So. Uh. <laughs> okay. Question number one. The answer is the Damn. Louvre. Oh, that's, I got a wrong. I was. I, sorry, it's a little not great. Uh, great one. Once it blew up there, it uh, kind of didn't work out well, but. Yeah, but anyways, yes, that was originally a fortress, and then that mm. now Sorry, it is. Sorry, team. Yeah. I said Versailles. Okay. Mm. Uh, the next question. I don't have the questions in front of me at the moment, but the answer is the Place yeah. de la Concorde. Oh, we were close. Well Good job, Jane. All right. We got the Place de la. Is that enough? <laughs> <laughs> that means the place of the really fast plane, right? Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> you can get from one end of it to the other in no time. Impressive. Okay. Picture without your head. Hey, that, that's uh, that's oh, Georgie. Yeah. Georgie's Good um job. George Patton. Uh, he was buried there. And we got the one. Last name, the last name is okay. He ate T T O N, but I'll give you whatever you want there. Yeah, he was killed in a car accident. Mm -hmm. At least allegedly, it was an accident. Yeah, um, just like Pagosi. Told, told yeah. you, Kyle. It's conspiracy yeah. theory. He, he was on his way to Russia. Okay. Um, he died as a result of the accident. He wasn't killed in the accident. Well, yeah. Number four, the that city, Yay. the ancient city, is Trier. Uh, this is a picture of the uh, Porta oh, Negra, which job, is the Lee. Black Gate. Wow. Very good, Lee. Yeah. And although Has that been I did, seismically, uh, you know, stabilized or anything? Which it to seismically stabilizes you need there. Grandfathered in. Yeah, you know, because yeah. we're from California, we can't look at buildings like that without thinking of an earthquake. Well, that's mm -hmm. true. That's exactly I, what my eye went to. Like, the, okay. one, of, one of the other questions I was thinking of doing there is they actually have a place that allegedly he lived, uh, Karl Marx lived in in Trier, uh, which is a, now a... Um, Burger King, uh, <laughs> I, but that's what the tour guide told us. But I can't seem to find any corroborating evidence on this, so I didn't oh. ask that question. Do you think it's it was the McDonald's down the street? Yeah, I think it may have been McDonald's there. Yeah. <laughs> Can I ask a point of order for sure? For number two, I looked up Plat Place de la Concorde, and it does say our answer was its name during the revolution, Place de la Revolution. Can can that count? I didn't hear it called that, but if you got something that says that's an alternate name for it, it's then on that's Wikipedia. Fine. Well, oh, all right. oh well, <laughs> and I swear I didn't just change it to put it there. <laughs> it says it was there during the revolution, and then its name was changed as a gesture of reconciliation in later years after the revolution. Okay, that makes so sense. So if you that's don't take our answer, it's a slight from. to the French. <laughs> uh, well, in that well, case, I'm not well, taking your answer. Then. Yeah. No, I, if if that's what it says, that's fine. I you know I'm going by its, its right, modern thanks. name. Okay. Well, All right. Good, good uh, memory, Paula. Oops. Yeah. Well done, Paula. <laughs> so that's our boat, actually. There. Um, yeah, that is a, that is the Alspin. Yeah. Uh, it's the Motel River, and I put it um, both spellings depending where you're going. Um, whether there's the L E on the end. Very good. I can so, see you waving. Yeah. That, <laughs> Everybody that's waving. me. Everybody on, wave a lot, Ron and his wife. Yeah, we're so we're down in the, the very bottom the underwater. Um, they're the one, they're the ones hanging over the rail, puking on the side. There. <laughs> that, that's because ah. of oh, that's because ah. of COVID. 
These boats mm-hmm. don't move fast enough for that to be an issue. And, and, the, river, and the rivers boat, are calm. Really? There's ha- not that many people on it. What, a few hundred? Yeah, it's like um, 175, I think, plus That's staff. Wow. Amazing. So did they're, you get the COVID from the, where do you think you got it? From the boat? Oh, we think we got it from the boat. I mean, you think about it. The weather was lousy, so everybody was staying indoors. We got it from the And, and we were in motor coaches for the a lot. Wi-Fi. Hmm? It's the Wi-Fi. It's the Wi-Fi. Yeah, they had they, they had Wi-Fi six there. We know that was it Wi-Fi it. or um five G five G five G. No, this is Wi-Fi six. So you know it's synergy you know, that, of all that. that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next one. It's the Reichsburg Kokum or the Imperial Castle or Reichsburg mm-hmm. Castle would work also. Is that the Mad King's Castle? How about the Kokum? No, that's no. that's in a totally different area. Sorry, team. Will you take Kokum Bavaria. Castle? Which one? Will you take Kokum Castle? Yes. Yeah. yeah. That is one of the other names there. Kokum? Kokum or a Tokum? That is a Kokum. And the next one is the Marksburg Castle. Oh. Yeah, I couldn't we remember tour- that. We toured all over that one. That was a really neat castle. Heidelberg. Heidelberg. My wife, my wife went to school here. We actually broke away from the tour and went up to where this picture is taken, which is the Philosopher's Walk, um, which allows you to look right down to there's there's the Heidelberg Castle um, and then the, the town of Heidelberg itself. I, so I that, apologize. I thought it was Guten... I, I named the wrong city, but Gutenberg. I knew it was this place. It wasn't a very Gutenberg answer, so... No, sorry. Oh. Guys, you guys never don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. Good number nine is Rotenberg of uh, uh, Der Tauber, and yeah. uh, unfortunately, it doesn't really do that. It's a very, very well preserved town, very old type structures from like you know, the Ooh. 1700s. Beautiful. Is Rotenberg enough? Rotenberg would do it. Yeah. Yay. I can see Chitty Chitty it's... Bing Bing being filmed there. And number 10, it's yeah. true. That oh. story yeah. is true. And just for giggles, there's Thanks, a dessert. Will. We had the dessert called the uh, the uh, atomic clock or the astronomical clock also. So I thought I'd have a picture of that too to go with Ooh. the actual clock. Yeah. We, that, that's, we actually ate that. I can't believe they would really hold this guy down and take his eyes out with a poker. That's horrible. Well, not only that, but it turns out, and I'll have it in the answer I'm going to post uh, when I'm done here, but they actually end up building another astronomical clock, but it was in, it's in South Korea. So they poked his eyes out for nothing. Hmm. And just a couple of other little Prague facts, since I didn't spend much time with Prague here. Um, oh, yes. My, my, my favorite, yeah. my favorite yeah. place in Prague is the Dancing House. Yes. Hmm. That actually is not a bad picture. That's what it looks like. Yeah. And then there's the uh, the tower babies. They, oh, somebody had this weird idea of just having these little hmm. babies crawling up the tower. Hmm. Weird, weird, weird they stuff. Look like, they look like aliens, actually. Um, yeah, well, the, the close-ups there, they really look like babies with no faces. It'll so. look like any of the aliens hmm. I've seen around here, Rob. <laughs> just, Rob just like the aliens I told you about when we were never aliens. Yeah. Okay, so that's that. Let me Very close good. this. Um, all right, so let me get the chat up here and uh, wait, how do I get it back? Okay, stop wait. sharing. Thought I did stop sharing. Oh, there it is. Okay, where are you? Stop share. Why am I just seeing new share? Okay, there we go. I just shoved my way through and just said, I'm Yeah, sure. let me, I'm going to put the, the answers into the chat. All right, so let's see how we did. I keep throwing more and more people at Rudy's Four Seasons Bell Bonds. You had Paula this time added on. So what do you guys get? Seven. Seven. All right, now you're now you're doing well. No. No. <laughs> Wait, what? Eight is enough? We got four. Well, oh. tied. Um, who had two months and plane crash in the Bogosian pit pool? Eight. Well, so oh. that's not. Donnie wanted to play golf today, but he was booked. Nine. Woo. Oh. Wow. Oh. All right. So easy, breezy, beautiful Georgia and peach shade. 
PO one one. I don't know if we got nine. I because we definitely we put Freiburg, not Rotenberg, for that middle evil. Yeah, that's the one we got wrong. Oh, yeah. so how many did you get? Okay, nine. nine. Oh, no, different team. Well, we'll, we'll different take team. That, Susan, we'll take that. We'll take that. We so got what four. did you guys? Get? I'm sorry, I heard the wrong voice. Four. <laughs> yeah. Four. What? Yeah. Stop the count. Stop. Oh, you're finished. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this is the point of the of the of the com uh, the conference. My cat wants to be pet. So uh, why did you call this meeting, Susan? <laughs> to order. I want to know who's going to be See playing. ya. See ya, Carolyn. Bye, yeah. Carolyn. Bye, uh, Carolyn. Bye, Carolyn. Bye, Carolyn. We want to know who's going to be having um, our um, categories next week. So we've got right now, we have Gail and I have Kevin. So I'm looking for two more and a bonus. <laughs> I can do either or. Would you run for bonus? Sure. Is that Peggy's hand up? No, sorry, I'm out of town. Probably not available on Thursday of next week. So the following week's okay. That's yeah, fine. I, I'm out. But Peggy and I are both out of town next week at the same place. What? Although, wait a minute, we we could we could tap in in Los Angeles. We I, could. Don't, I don't want to commit to a category, though we might show up. Okay, so September seventh, I've got you, Peggy. Or we might be drinking at the bar in our hotel. Exactly. You know that's more likely. Or in our show up drunk. That's all. It'll be fun for us. <laughs> okay, so I'll I'll come back after this category to see who I can guilt into taking. I'm in Los Angeles. Am I going to get invited to this bar? Uh, we're going to be at the um the Marriott in at the Burbank Airport. Come on down. <laughs> <laughs> Super exciting. Or the other side of the county, but I maybe. Li I literally live ten minutes from there. Oh, do oh, you? Come, oh, come, come down and yeah. say hi. You know, you gotta get Let's get together, together girl. Oh, that'll it? be fun. You guys get together. Yeah. 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 Down down there, Robin. Party, huh? party. <clears throat> Ask when me. is it? But So, Robin, what's your uh, excuse for going down there? Wednesday it's a, it's Friday a Friday of next conference week. conference about child support. Okay. Uh. So we get, there, we'll, we get there Tuesday evening. We could do something Tuesday night. And then we've got Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, but have to leave like Friday at by noon, I think. Or I do. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, see if, see actually, if Robin's Wendy's doing some cockamamie other thing. So Paula, ask Wendy too. <laughs> They'll be fun. Get you guys down there. Well, yeah. Well, Tuesday night, Wednesday night. Are you guys going to have a Thursday rental night. car? Because I have a car. I'll have my uh, car. We're driving down. Oh, okay. So we could meet. We could. Uh, you know, I'm sure the food at that hotel is just fabulous. <laughs> yeah, take There's us to the best steak near, steak near the airport. Yeah. Okay, so we're, we're up, Carl. Now that they're planning a trip, I'm jealous because I can't. Okay. <laughs> you already had one. You just yeah, had a trip. I know, but I want to go see people. I like hanging And you're out going to people. Texas. Shut up. I know, but I'm not going to be hanging out with my friends. They're people they are going to be Mark's people. I mean, I'll Texans. have a good time. It'll be interesting, but it's not anybody I know, you know. Maybe you'll meet someone. I will meet people there because we're going to have, he has a table. He's going to get a vendor's table and he's going to give a talk and all that stuff. Okay, Carl. All right. So uh, my category is failure to launch epic commercial product and business failures. Ooh. Mm. Hey, just wait. Wait, 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 wait. I've got it. All right. Number one. This was the first consumer video game system capable of display displaying stereoscopic 3D graphics. Number two. This system created by Circuit City was an early pioneer in the digital media rental business that used proprietary DRM managed DVD discs and special DVD players equipped with modems connected to phone lines to manage disc viewing rights. Number three, this was Apple's first computer to use a graphical user interface. Number four, 
This was Apple's first computer intended for business users. It perhaps wasn't a good omen that the operating system was named Apple SOS. Number five. That's bad. This automobile brand was named for the son of the company's founder. Number six, this company's consumer research determined that people preferred their competitors' products. So in 1985, the company changed. Oh, I left it. Didn't highlight the whole thing. Hold on a second. Changed their product to be more like their competitor. Okay. This one's a long one. This was a software product intended to provide a more user-friendly interface for the Windows 3.1 X, Windows 95, and Windows NT operating systems. It presented screens showing a house with rooms so that the user could visit containing familiar objects corresponding to computer applications, such as a desk and a pen with paper and a checkbook. A cartoon dog named Rover and other cartoon characters provided guidance using speech balloons. Don't be chicken. You might be able to guess this one. Number eight. At the end of the 2017 film, Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 2, Peter Quill is gifted one of these by Kraglin to replace his destroyed Walkman. Number nine, this game console was the first console to include a built-in modular modem for internet access and online play. And finally, number 10. This competitor to the NFL had a team owned by Donald J. Trump. They won an antitrust law lawsuit against the NFL and were awarded, oh, that's supposed to be a one, one dollar, which was tripled to three dollars. All right. They won. Break out. Go forth and contemplate. I got to work on the rest. Oh, I, yeah, I think I know one or two of them. Well, I actually Buddy, know I that I know one of them, and that's a big thing for me. So let's look at number four so I can actually contribute something in this case. Okay. Lay it on us. Four? No, no, it isn't four. What number was what, it? Uh, five. What was the question? Five is the Edsel. Yeah, that's the only oh. one I knew. That's the only one I knew, too. <laughs> I knew. Whenever I know something, it's the one everybody knows. You know, um, I was thinking I would probably, I must know this, but I, I don't think I yeah. came up with it. That's what I, 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 Ben, can you just sit down to not to 10 for a second? Carl, before you got here, just as I predicted, I told everybody, I don't know the answer to any of them. Is this the, uh, the Amer it's the American football, uh, uh, the American uh, football league, no? Yeah, before, I, think I, I remember the, it, but I don't remember them exactly. Yeah, it was American football it's league before American they, football before league. they uh, came together. Yep. Okay, going back and, up. And the, on the other hand, hang on, you, uh, Ben, you might be able to help me with that. It's either that or it's the World Football League, because I'm wondering if Trump goes far enough back for the, you know what, maybe not, because the AFL goes back to the 60s, so that wouldn't be Trump. So I probably, have no idea, because I don't started, really do football. He did that just because they wouldn't let him buy a football team. Uh, yeah, you know what? Try a uh, try uh, WFL, World Football, uh, with World Football League, In, instead of American team football owned League. by. No, because otherwise you would have to been going back to the ninth uh, to, to the nineteen sixties, right. and I don't think we'd be looking at Donald Trump there. Yeah, because so they've the been Foot American Football League has been part of the NFL for a while now, right? Since, uh, merged, sixty-seven yeah. since uh, right. since like six or since nineteen seventy or something but, like that. So and it's yeah, not the newer the newer XFL or whatever that was started by no, uh, the, I think the this wrestling would be... guy. No, Can try, try the W the try the World Football League. I think it's probably all right. It. We'll try that. Okay, so I think one is Virtual Boy. That was a Nintendo 3D console that bombed because again these are failures. So we've had other 3D consoles that have done well, but Virtual Boy was kind of a disaster. 
Uh, DivX was that, if anybody remembers that, the competitor to, to DVD. Thank goodness you guys know these answers. Um, I'm trying to remember what the first Apple computer was that I had the graphical interface. Um, I think it was prior to the Macintosh. Was it like the Lisa? Oh, New Coke. I don't. It may have been the Lisa, but um, I'm not was positive. Was it Lisa on that. the Macintosh? No. It wasn't Lisa that was a failure. I know that. Right, but Lisa and Macintosh are two separate. Were they separate? I thought Lisa was the yeah. old name of the Macintosh. No, no. I may be missing knowing that. Not to my knowledge, no. Uh, they were they were separate, uh, separate computers. Um. So let's see. For business users, I don't. Uh, that one I don't know. Edsel, New Coke, everyone agrees on that, right? Mm -hmm. I I put that down as I was. I can't remember if this was Microsoft Bob or if it was a predecessor to Microsoft Bob, but he says, "Don't be chicken." You might be able to guess this one. Oh, so Bob has chickens. Bob, Bob. Uh, oh, so that Bob. is okay. So that I was trying to find the the reference. Oh, I don't know why it didn't go on he? me. Our Bob has chickens. So thank you, Jane. Yes. So that makes Very me more good. confident in my. Oh, my nice. Bob. Bob got a question named after him. And then eight is the Zune. Uh, pretty sure okay. nine is the Sega Dreamcast. And then we think 10 is World Football League. So it looks like we have an answer for everything but four. You guys did good. Wow, who needs who needs Leonard when we got Ben? What's number nine? I don't see nine. Oh, here comes Karen. Where's nine? Oh, Sega Dreamcast? Dreamcast. I'm pretty sure that was the first one that included a built-in modem. I could be wrong. It could be earlier than that, but I'm pretty sure they made a big deal about the Dreamcast having a built-in modem. Okay, so Karen. Prior to that, game uh, systems weren't ever online. You just bought a game system and you played games on it. You didn't connect to anything or talk to anybody. Putting Karen on room three. Room three, we don't get uh, Karen no, with us guys, to help us answer number four. The highest score. Uh, let me think about number four, because again, this is going to be a failure. So what was another one of Apple's failures? For business Maybe it's users. David, David and Lisa. Who's that? Hmm? Who's David and Lisa, though? Oh, right. It's a, it's a play. Forget it. Car <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't think of the failed you had for maybe. business users, Carl. You had one, Ben. What, what, what did you have? No, I didn't. Fortunately, I cannot give you any hints. Nope. That's okay. But we feel pretty confident about the rest, except for maybe the football thing. We're not. Let me, we, let me, we see, hope the, we can do. Let me see your first answer. What? The, the top. I'm thinking that's DivX, but I'm not. I'm trying to remember if there was another one other than that. I know it's been a while and I don't remember my, my Apple history as much as I used to. So I may have that wrong, but I can't remember which one was the oh. first. With well, the one of the things that makes first. some of these questions hard is some of the things that, that failed so spectacularly, a lot of people haven't heard of them. Right, exactly. <laughs> Luckily, I've heard of a lot of this stuff, but. Yeah, I've never heard of Divic. Like, like Microsoft Bob. <laughs> But then again, uh, Carl and I, you know, we've known each other forever. We're IT people. We've we've made fun of Microsoft Bob like uh, quite a bit over the years. So. And we have a friend named Bob that we also yes. joke about Microsoft Bob with. <laughs> yes, who is also in IT. So, what's the what was the 
I was like, this was probably from the ni- uh, late 80s or 90s. The, it was one of the first plat- I don't know if platform, whatever you call it, for like a Google type thing. Um, it was really popular for a while. And I, God, I can't remember what the thing You're was called. Search engine type stuff? Yeah. Internet directories? Could come up in a future round. Yep. Exactly. No, I can't remember. I can't remember what it's Alta called. All I, remember, all, all I remember is I remember when the first yeah, I time I mentioned Alta Vista. I just remember the first time I looked at it. I mean, it it, it resembled sort of if you would look like you know a, a Facebook page or something. And I all I could think of is who the hell is going to look at this damn thing? You know, because there's there's so much shit on it. And for someone like me, I get o- overload. I can't find it's so much. I can't find anything. And now mm-hmm. everything looks like that. Yeah. Well, That's Yahoo a- was pretty. Yahoo was more of a directory than a search engine, but they tend to have somewhat busy. of a busy homepage. Whereas it was even, it Google was even is just that. like you get the search that. bar and that's it. Yeah, I figured no, this, you were probably talking about prior to Google or prior to Yahoo. But yeah, I think if I remember, this was like this had to have been like in the mid, like the seven, uh, not seventies, uh, the 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 nineties, or maybe you know late 80s early 90s or something like that but it was very early version and it was uh but i think if i remember it was color though so it wasn't mono it was not a monochrome thing i'm just shocked that uh carl didn't go with the the great um apple the first apple like handheld disaster uh the newton if anybody remembers that maybe that'll be on a part two because you know Carl, if he finds a good category, he'll he'll come oh, up with a sequel. It, yeah, yeah. So that uh, might be on a on a Susan, on a later one. Yes. Um, I wanted to tell you that I I had a long conversation with Adrian about that starting that new page, mm-hmm. and she convinced me that even if I did it, it would probably not go through. And I now understand better some of the criteria they have for a new page. So what I've started doing, and I don't know if you want. To know about this for the data, I'm putting a lot of uh, backwards references to some of these podcasts, not podcasts, um, YouTube videos that are so good. So we can, I'm sticking them into places. Do you want to know them so that you can keep a record of it? No. No, because I couldn't possibly keep a record of all that much. Yeah, I, that's what I was figuring, which is as why long I'm, as talking, there's a learning I'm doing a lot of you, them. That's good. And it might, it's a good learning experience for you. And you may end up needing the stuff you did might actually come to fruition someday. You know, what, what kind of, what kind of, what, what kind of page? Write, write a Wikipedia page for a science podcast that she loves. Uh, and not a podcast, it's a, a it's YouTube a, channel, a but it doesn't have fame and, and likability and awesomeness. Do not have enough. Well, be, uh, interestingly, Apparently, there is somebody already doing it about the host, and I once that's possible, yeah. And what I what I said was that once they get the host up to give him my, for them to give that person who's creating it because I don't know who that is my name because what I will do is I will link from that one to the topics that he's done, and I realized because she showed me. Um, I, I was using the mod as a model because she showed me how to use a model to create a new page. And the model I was using includes this as one of the list of things that are done by PBS. But only one of them has its own page. And that's what I was using as the reason I could do that because this one has a page. But when I really looked at it, it has a page because it was one of the original ones they did. And I think that's what made it special. And there are at least a dozen other ones that they have now. And this would have been one of the other. And that's the only one that has its own page. So I can't justify why this one is better than the other 11, right? But the other one that does have its page was the, one of the very first ones ever to do this. So. so it's a good, you know, I like that you actually, you know, try it. Because I spent like I was up in um, up in Seattle and, and uh, Portland, and I had to sit down with several people. I was talking to Eric for a while, and he he just could not understand why 
I couldn't just write a page for certain topics. You just couldn't get the notability standards. Right. So Kim and I were talking about the last night. I, I'm not sure I get, I understand what the rule is now, but I'm not sure I understand the reason for the rule because I think it's more important to have the, the videos available to people than the person who creates the video. But apparently that's not the case. It's wherever the citations lead you. So it could have been the person or it could have been the podcast. I mean, the uh, YouTube channel, wherever the citations lead you, it doesn't, we don't get to choose. So like we can't write one for Skeptoid. We have to write it for Brian Dunning. Uh -huh. We can't do both because, because Skeptoid is not Skeptoid without Brian Dunning. So if, oh, if, if it's Brian Dunning was going to have a Wikipedia page, which he does for all the stuff he does, then you've got to, if you tried to make one for Skeptoid, which they did years ago when it was deleted, it has to be independent of him in some way. And it's the same pro problem with uh, GSOW. Now that kind of makes sense. You have to have, it has to be kind of a standalone thing. Otherwise it's just your project. So like, GSOW, right. if we had enough citations that were GSOW focused with very little mention of me, then, uh, and there was notable citations, like, you know, maybe in a few years, then GSOW could have its own Wikipedia page. But at the moment, it's just a sub project of something that Susan Gerbic does. So it's, you know, it's neither here nor there. At least there's some mention of it on Wikipedia. But anyway, so I'm glad you went through the process. I'm glad you were open enough to know that you did a bunch of work and it's not going to work. But um, I have a I lot have of information while sitting on a file. <laughs> you know what? I've had many pages I've written deleted because I didn't, I tried to write them before they were ready or not even a chance. And it's a learning experience. And boy, let me tell you, it sure makes you think about next time you want to write a page. So I try to make people focus on rewrites because it's so much easier to rewrite it page. And, you don't have to go to the notability part and i know you already know this but adrian was wonderful she was very she's, patient she's, with me going through she's all the person this. we always point to it's, make sure you point to her because she, she's got this thing about being pointed at uh, and so <laughs> her and i were talking about it today i point to her it's it's i'm not even sure it's a joke yet but <laughs> okay I don't do that. so She's the person we Carl, played. I I was quite shocked that the that the Newton wasn't in this list. I, I've got enough material to make two more. Yeah, I figured stuff. that's what I told people, it's but now yeah. there's a lot of stuff, answers. man. Jane got the part about Bob. We were all like Bob, and she says, "Yeah, I was like, Bob, wait, Bob, Jane and then Bob. you and then your your thing about the chickens, and then um, and then she's yeah, like, like our Bob, Bob has lots tonight. of chickens." And I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. What I is the that. reference I to now. Bob and the chickens? I didn't get yeah. that. Bob <laughs> owns that a ton <laughs> of chickens. Our Bob, Bob Flockmuster, has our chicken. Bob. Oh, our Bob. Got our it. Our Bob. We still have a question to answer. Number four. Yeah, yeah. but I can't. We I've been racking it. my brain. I came up with the Lisa, but I can't figure out what the Make other one up. is. But Lisa. The Newton. I know it's wrong, but you know anything's better than a blank space. Anything's better than a blank. I'll confirm it's wrong. <laughs> well, uh, you know, I know it's wrong. I just I can't Thanks. think of the right yeah, answer. I know. Uh, I'm hoping this is one of those. Either I just you know. Getting optimistic. Okay. Gosh, these were really hard. Hey, my team. We were just discussing this. Look at this. Oh, how long till the memes came out? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good comparison. There's no, there's no way he could have looked into that camera and taken the picture that would not have been. Somebody on Twitter said that the picture of him was fake. <laughs> I think so, he should have just smiled into the camera and gone. No, so so Vincent, <laughs> Vincent Earl, which, earlier. Which picture of him? Yeah, mm -hmm. earlier in the week, there were several fake ones that were put out. That's what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So this one, Lawrence McDonald, his program on MSNBC, suggested. And I suspect he's right. He probably stood in front of a mirror and practiced that. Oh, I saw that on MSNBC <laughs> today. Yeah, just before we got here. 
Museumoffailure.com. Oh, good. Thanks, Mike. Did, did, you right. see the, did you see the mugshot of his uh, spokesman? She looks like she was like posing for a yearbook photo. Yes. Oh, yeah. talking about, are you talking about Ellis, the one that was smiling? He was smiling. She looked like it was just. She's oh, really taking this seriously. Anyway, if I ever answers, get booked, I'm doing it too. <laughs> All right. I would pout, put my lip out. All righty. She opened a fund me uh, to to pay her uh, bills. Yeah, I heard that. And, okay, and here so we go. Far, okay, go for it. Number one, the Nintendo Virtual Boy. Woohoo! Of which I own one sitting in a box in my back room. Hmm. Number two. Divix. If you're tired Divix. of paying late fees for video oh. rentals or paying yeah. for movies you didn't have time to watch, check out Divix at Circuit City. Only DVD players with Divix play DVD movies, Divix movies, and audio CDs. Divix movies are only $4.49 each, and you never have to return them or pay late fees. This RCA DVD player they with burst Divix into flames after you watch them. <laughs> and get any five Divix movies free after rebate. <laughs> Plug into Divix at Circuit City. Never even. A product that failed like so like badly a... it contributed to Circuit City going bankrupt. <gasps> but didn't yeah. they have like software where you convert <clears throat> DVDs with? Because that's what I remember about Divix. Yes, ironically, it became a piracy tool. As yeah. It started <laughs> from an anti piracy <laughs> point of view. Yep. All right. <laughs> Number three. The Apple Lisa. Oh, we got one. Oh, all right. We got one. <laughs> got one. Number one. <laughs> Number four. Yeah. Oh, is that awful? What is it? The Apple uh, three. Yes. Apple three. Uh -oh. Dang it. Bust it out. That's what we did. Apple three. Uh, oh, a computer with a lot that. of problems, one of which was trying to remember no what fan SOS. SOS stood for is like sophisticated operating system. Yeah. Standard standard operating system. No, it wasn't that bland. Yeah. So Steve Jobs <laughs> insisted that this computer not be noisy and did not want a cooling fan in it. Mm. And oh. uh, th there are rumors that it, it would get so hot that its chips would start to pop out of their sockets. And supposedly one of Apple's tech support recommendations was lift the case up three inches off the desk and drop it, and then wow. the impact would force the chips to reseat themselves. That's Whoa. crazy. <laughs> yeah, sophisticated operating system, yeah. Leonard. So early, early, early in the day before we yeah. started the record, Vincent was talking, he has a new computer, which seems to be overheating. Is this what you got? Did someone sell you an Apple thing? <laughs> 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 so, also, it's like 400 watts, drop, it, drop it, Vincent. Number five. <laughs> the Edsel. All right. That was one. actually a really nifty car. It was. My parents had one. So what was what was the problem? Well, a lot of people hated the horse collar styling. The what? Mm -hmm. styling? The nose. The nose. Yeah. Uh, as a general market problem, it basically overlapped in price ranges, both the Ford line and the Mercury line, and therefore people didn't know what the hell it was supposed to be. Mm -hmm. It was too Number cheap six. to be a Mercury, too too expensive to be a Ford. Exactly. Coca-Cola. Yeah. 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 I will accept either Coca-Cola or New Coke as an answer. New Coke. That's what I put. I put New Coke. Well, Number seven. New Coke so gross. Company. Microsoft. Bob. All right. <laughs> oh, I don't remember. Apparently, of this. I don't remember Apparently Kevin all. actually used so, it. So Bob's your uncle and your operating system. Yes. So what is what, the dog Rover? That's what's the hint at the right end? Corner? Well, he's not playing tonight, but Bob the Chicken Man. <laughs> oh, okay. Bob the Chicken Don't Man. Don't be chicken. You might guess it. I own. I own a copy of Bob. Oh, oh, and it worked, Bob. Number eight. The Zune. I own the Zune. Good. Very good, Jamie. Hmm. Number nine. Never, never heard of that. Over three hundred songs. The yes. Sega Dreamcast. Hey, the Dreamcast. Uh, yeah. I still, I still have mine in the basement we somewhere. We that for number one. Yeah. And we then finally the for number spot. ten. USFL. Oh, USFL. USFL. Oh, dang it! Donald Trump owned the New Jersey Generals. 
Mm. Uh, sorry, guys, forgot that's right. that. You know, the wrong, the wrong name. Well, I would we, not. I, we forgot about close. that one. Argued ourselves out of that for some reason. We first one with America. I just noticed Paula. She's looking great. Paula, <laughs> oh, let me know. Yeah, great. He's also, paste those you. answers into the chat here. Good, good. That was oh, a I like the category, Carl. I liked it. Well, of course you did, Ben. You knew half the answers. Or one. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't know. Like, oh wow! All right, failures. Technology. There we go. Very good. Good job. And Microsoft Bob had that little clippy guy, the paper clip, mm. and he uh, like I was he? talking to him. Later. Later. I that was XP. He came that, later. No, that was yeah. Office. That was no, but he office. came was out in, first. In in Microsoft Bob. I don't think so. Mm, and then I think it came out in Office initially. Yeah. But he was at Microsoft. Bob came first. Yeah, and he had a dog, and you could turn the character into a space a Martian and talk to him and stuff. I like had a spaceship. You could change the character that walked around the room. And as always, if anyone's interested, the the questions and the PowerPoint are in the chat. If you want to download it, cool. very good. I'm going to frame it. Good job. All right. So before we get to scores, I'm just going to see if anybody has decided that they are going to do a category next week i need two categories and hi karen by the way who's i don't know she's in the dark there is that she's driving she's driving, she's driving. driving. oh don't crash i'm driving i'm driving he's driving bumpy road Oh, is she saying she wants to do a category? Oh, Leonard wants to do a category. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was waving to Karen. I saw you saying I want to do a category. Not sure if Your I'm going to be able to. Sure Rob would do another one next week. week. I'll be up in Bend. I'll see you there. Actually, On Tuesday. Well. Yeah, you oh, can, you really can cool. um, take one half of the room and teach them how to do the origami. <laughs> yeah, except Great I don't idea. remember. Okay. I keep bathing coming over. I can wow. stand the vacation. I, I, I can yeah. help you with the water divine. Yes. Nobody volunteering, Susan. I see I see Ben putting his hand up. No. Ben, oh Bill, 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 what was it you mm -hmm. started to say a minute ago? Mm -hmm. You were talking about something on what was it? I said I better not forget to answer. On the Edsel, no. What was it what? you were talking about? Oh, it might have been. Yeah, it was the Edsel. I was commenting that yeah, you know, it was. Sure. Too expensive to be a Ford, not uh, and too cheap to be a Mercury. No, there was something else you were saying before, and then, and then Carl said mm -hmm. we got to go to the scores. I can't remember what it is, but, but you got a category next week. Don't worry. I, I think I've got a category. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So let's go to scores. So let me pull over to the scores. Still need one more person. Just saying. All right, so here we are. We find ourselves in the scores. We've got a tie for the lowest score I gave you, Karen. So let's see how that did. Wait, what? Eight is enough? Uh, let me count again. We got five. And that will be five. And Rudy's Four Seasons Spell Bonds. We got eight. Okay, and then let's go up to Easy Breezy Beautiful Georgia in Peach, in peach Shade, PO1135809. We got five. 809. And who had two months and plane crash in the Bogosian pool? Eight. Whoa. That was, that was your own team there, Carl, so not so bad, not so shabby. Donnie wanted to play golf today, but he was booked. Seven. We have Whoa. a tie. A tie. And then these two here are pretty darn close. Okay, so it's all coming down to Miss Robin, who's going to be drinking at a bar next week. 
with, and Papa. with Peggy and maybe some and and Kyle and Rob, uh, Paula and possibly Wendy and everybody else. That'll be fun. I wish I was there. And, uh, I'm already wish I, I, I have to go, everybody. So good night. Bye, Vincent. We're being Bye, recorded. Vincent. Good luck with good the computer. Night, yeah. Maybe hey. uh, was he All waving because right. he wanted to do a category? I'm not sure. Oh, right. I say goodbye. <laughs> okay, Robin, Robin. Okay, I'm I'm doing a visual, and I hope this is gonna pop up, up okay. Um, I have a bunch of countries here. I've put I just put it in the chat. Uh, there's ten countries here. You name them. There's ten countries within that border. No, I've got borders. like 10 different pictures here. Oh, that I just I only popped see the up one into picture. the chat. Oh, okay. You scroll down, 10, 10 countries, the uh, just the outlines of them. Okay. Name so the let, countries. All right. High quality renderings. I approve of these. Okay, so oh, let thank me you. screen share these because that way they're up on the video for for um Okay. I didn't even know you could do that in chat. Oh, I didn't need to do that. I didn't know I've you could done do that it. at all. Well, I guess I it's just a link, isn't it? You, you can't, you can't, you cannot screen share something in Zoom. I can screen share. Yeah, good luck. Why can't I? Can you see that? Wait, how'd you do that? <laughs> That's pretty That's funny. One of the countries. I'm yeah, surprised. Do that. How do we know do which that? number is which? Oh, we don't. We don't have to have a number, right? Don't need it doesn't numbers. matter. We don't need no stinking numbers. Okay, so how do I get these to come up? You, you got, once I once I announce the with, you know, announce the names, everybody's going to match them up just fine with well, the actual okay. countries. Okay, oh. I got you. So here's another one. This is. Um, what are you doing, Sula? Did you download them and then you're screen sharing the picture? That's already. I don't have the document to give us a name. We go with the image number one because I. I'm trying to screen grab these, but when we go to our rooms, I won't. I won't know which which order they're in. We'll I got you, out. Paula. I, I know what you're saying, but I can pull okay. all the data. Okay. Okay. So screen share. Oh, here they are. So maybe this will work. Okay. So there's one. What are we supposed to do? Oh, I don't know. Oh, oh. Name the countries. countries. Yeah, I know that. But if we go to our teams, where does this information go? It should stay in chat. Oh, good. Right. Somebody on your team should have it. Usually it stays in chat. Mind what is. information? As long as it does. <laughs> Usually so you can still see clear, the chat. Everyone should be able to see in chat that there are images, 10 images of. Yep. Yeah. Can everyone see the images now? I can. Yeah. 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 I'm on a phone, so the chat goes away, but as long as someone on my team yeah, has so it. Somebody has on the I got team. you. I, I grabbed them all. <laughs> Okay. okay, so let's go to our team. So somebody can send us over there because um, Vince is gone. Vince is gone. It's so are, Robin. Are you going to give us the names, or do we start do it from memory? I will give you the names at the end. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have to come up with the names ourselves. Yes. Yes, that's the that's the quiz. You give me the names of those countries. So it's not a list to match to the images. Got it. Yeah, because that would be silly. We would just say, there they are. Oh, no, it wouldn't be silly. No, they... no, no. Yeah, no, it wouldn't be silly, but no, it'd be easier. True. Yeah, it'd be much easier. Okay, let's go. Am I? I'm playing. Oh, I'm, I'm still stuck here because I'm busy playing with the screenshot. I'm, I'm, I, I opened up the chat and I'm having no problem seeing them now. Okay. Likewise. It uh, depends on my computer's kind of weird and I can't see them now, but uh, I opened up chat and the last thing I see is the answers to Carl's category. Oh, I can well, see for, them. For some reason, I, yeah, I can see them. I can see them. All right. I, I, well, as long um, as someone can you, um, uh, which doesn't help because screen everyone sharing? needs to see them. So we okay, can let me see them. if I can screen share this. Hold on a second. Um, okay. Can you see this? I see your spreadsheet. You see my. Give, okay. 
give me give me a minute and I'll put them on on the screen. Just give me a minute, everybody. Yeah, he's just got to put them on a document or something. Yeah, just give me a second. Wow. In the meantime, who's? Okay, Richard is busy doing things. Yeah, I'm, just give me a minute. Yep. I'm just gonna calling this category. Check. What are the cat? What are the countries? Oh, she's gone. Yeah. So one of them is Turkey. Okay. Argentina, Turkey. I don't know. Peru. Yeah, one looked like Peru. Norway. I don't oh. know. I think this one's no, it's not. Maybe China. One of them is definitely Norway. One's Argentina. And Norway. Uh is that Myanmar? Yeah. Wow, this is nearly there. Nearly there. Is um, no one that's Iceland? Iran? Is it Iran or Iraq? This is really hard when they, you don't have anything else near it to give you a. Yeah, um, this is Iran, I think. Or maybe, no, I think it's it's I think it's actually Iraq. They're so similar. <laughs> and Somalia, the one that looks like a seven. Yes. Is that what that is? Somalia? You all see that? Yeah. Thumbnails. Yeah. Hang on. I'm just working on it. Does that help? That's better. Okay. So we can see. You put this on the Fred Drive, huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So the first one that you have there on the left, what do we think that is, you guys? This one? Argentina. Oh, yeah. That's Argentina. Okay, so somebody's writing these down. Right? No, I'm doing it, yep. Okay. Argentina. Second okay. one is Turkey. Third one's the one on the it. right is Turkey. Upper right. Well, we've got Turkey twice. Oh, it's in there twice. So one is Argentina. Two is Turkey. Turkey. And then Turkey. three right. is also Turkey. So you've got to take one out. Oh, yeah. Let me duplicate. Because I was trying to save them very quickly. Yeah, I know. Is the next one China? I think so. And then Peru is the next one. Is that what that is? Peru. I've got one in there twice. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me get rid that's of that. gotta go. Yeah. That's it. Okay, so that one that your mouse is on right now. No, no, that's China. 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 Ch China. Okay, and then, and then the next one's on Peru. The next one, which is four. Four is Peru. Wow, I don't recognize it. Right. Yeah, Ecuador is up, up in the upper left hand corner of it. Then in Norway. Yeah. Norway, yep. Norway, huh? Agree, yep. And Iceland? Is that Iceland? Would be. Those are fjords. Iceland's got more than one. Um, I don't think that's Bottle Iceland. Islands out there. Okay. I don't think that's Iceland. You know what? I'll put it for now. We can visit it again. Okay. Yeah. And then Myanmar. Yeah. Is all right. Otherwise known as Burma. That's right. This next one's kind of just a blob. What is that? You think that's Iran? 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 I think the one below it is is Iraq. Is Iraq. So let me just catch up. Sorry. This one is Burma. Myanmar. Myanmar. Yeah. Yeah. One? Burma. That right. one we're talking about right now. Okay. This one? So that's one. Somalia. Somalia. Okay. Yeah. Wow. I would never get these. And number 10. Whoa, that's tricky. That's, that's Iran. The, that's one, Iran. the one on the bottom is Iran. Oh, Iran. Iran. So and the I, one we're missing is the one above Iran. It's eight. Yeah. Which is this one. 
Yeah, that's not. Could it be Serbia? Could be anything, couldn't it? I'm I'm not recognizing it. So what what do we what did we put for number ten? Iran. Iran, yeah. Okay. Okay, that's not Iceland. This one? Right. That's not Iceland. That is not Iceland. All right. Well, that narrows it down. <laughs> is it South Korea? No. Oh, I don't think Maybe. it's long enough. Yeah. I might be wrong. Um, the abrupt border at the top there. Yeah. I tell you what, I'll put it un until we find something else. That one that you thought was Iceland. Yeah, that, that sounds good. It's got so many little islands in there. It's not Yeah, Iceland. I think it, that's the I, South Korea sounds good. All right. Which one are you guys saying is South Korea? The one that we were talking that you were saying is not Number Iceland. six. That oh, one. Oh wow. I guess I've never looked at it that closely. Well, you've probably never looked at it without North Korea sticking on top. Yeah, and everything else around it, yeah. Yeah. Just the outline, that's really... And, that... and it does have all those those islands in the south. Yeah. So what did we put for number eight? We don't know. I think, uh, did we put Iraq for that one? Yeah, but it's, it's, it's not. I mean, it's kind of a rock-like. It's not... Oh, Iraq is the is number ten. No, I thought that was Iran. No, you're, you're right. saying number ten is Iraq. No, number ten no, is Iran. 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 All right, it's Iran. Iran. Okay, so if, if ten is Iran, eight could be Iraq or no? No, because be? Iraq has to fit against oh, the uh, western would... edge of Iran. Is it Pakistan? Pakistan. No idea. Um, or is it Bangladesh? Um, I don't think it's the right shape for Bangladesh. Yeah, Bangladesh. Bangladesh has too much, has more rivers in it. Yes, I think gonna, that's right. It's going to scallop the edge. So, Pakistan. Look, it's it's until we find something else. I'll put it for now. Better than yeah. having. Yeah, I don't think it's Pakistan. All right. Pakistan is on the western part of of India. So it, it would be more mirror image than that. Uh, mm. That's it's funny a, playing playing this trivia in this country what an, because normally what an, back home it's the afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> what an interesting way to look at these pictures that's just yeah it does unless there's something very distinguishing about it you know something that really stands out like the Norway one yeah Norway really stands out yeah Whew. And we always look at them this direction too. She uh, category is really hard is you do images, but you flip them, right? And you just say, "Is this? Oh, that would be a hard category." You just take all the names off of it, and you say, "Is this right side up? You know, which direction is this correct? You know, see if they can get the direction within four. Right? Could it be Saudi Arabia? Ah, uh, yes. 
Number eight? Yeah. Eight. All right. That sounds good. I think you did really good, you guys. Saudi Arabia. Wow. There's a lot of countries to choose from. Did she could have hey, just a couple of hundred. Okay, got them? Yep. I think that's all of them, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ten. Yep. We have and we're, and we're sure we have some of them right. Argentina, Turkey, China, Peru, Norway. And we've got South, South, Korea, South Korea, Burma, Myanmar, Saudi Arabia, Somalia, Iran. Right. What else could they be? So what obvious. else could they be? So obvious. Hmm. I'm the same way, Richard. I'm a bit uh, tired. Yeah, it's like I said, normally I'm, I feel I'm like I'm driving. I'm I'm playing this in the afternoon, and then when the game's over, I've got something else to do. But the only thing I'm going to do after this is go to bed. And you'll dream of country outlines. Yeah. I'm going to go see what you, MSNBC has to say about uh, Mr. Trump. Whatever. I haven't been paying attention to the news today. No, I've been on Zoom calls and doing other things all day. You can gaze upon my skeptical archive. There we go. I keep it with me now because memory's so cheap, I can carry half a terabyte. Ooh. Oh, that's a lot of stuff there, Richard. Video out from skeptical. That is, from FC that's a lot of skeptics. stuff. That's just the top level files. Look at this. Yes. Elf, right? Oh. Elf. Look at that. Yeah. And their videos and all sorts of stuff. Oh, yeah. That's marvelous. I'm doing a big story at the moment about this new tau patch, which uh -huh. converts light energy and acts on your acupuncture points. But this is my file on the power band. Look at this. Oops. Let me go this way. Well, you guys in Australia did some fantastic work on uh, the power It hasn't balance. stopped yet. Look at all those power band brands that were out there. Yeah. But what do they have that makes them a power band? They fit on your wrist? It's a generic term for a device, normally a wristband, that improves your balance, strength, concentration, flexibility, blood flow, blah, 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 blah. blah. <laughs> Made yeah, of good. silicon rubber with, mm -hmm. um, with these uh, holographic foils um, stuck on them. This now, is one called the ion band uh, the nrg ion band and if you can look at this that's me holding one up but it's got big football players advertising it and we wrote an open letter to the company and to the sporting store rebel that was selling them pointing out that this is no better than the power balance which was a scam and within a very short time i discovered them in a junk shop look at this oh uh, that's wonderful what how long ago was that Oh, this is over a decade. Right. Yeah. No, you you guys did did great work. See, look, it was so that's so how, lovely that's to see how the long power ago balance was. arena go away. Amway was selling those magnets a while back. Were they? Did you anybody do a debunking on those? Oh, oh magnet therapy's been debunked for years. It just keeps. Very interesting challenge. Okay, yeah, that was good. Okay. So we put Australia for every answer. Is that a right? <laughs> Are you ready for the uh, answers? That was interesting. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> we should I heard put some... by Russia for everything. <laughs> I heard some I heard a lot of correct answers when I was in the rooms. You ready? Yes. Gonna... Oh. Kaboomy. Uh what is what's no, going Wow. How many? Wait, it's in the same order that we posted them in, right? No, that's it not should be. That's, it's not. No, it's definitely so, yeah, some doesn't seem right. Because I just put that. Argentina. La, La Argentina. 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 That's how they. That's how they say it in Spanish. Because the order. <laughs> you don't have the, the rest of them came in. 
Mm. All you guys got to know is, did you put these names down? It doesn't matter if you matched them with the picture, you guys. Yeah. Uh, uh, you think it's so? It's your curiosity. Well, we've got that. We were, Ben, we're right. Uh, we're right with the first one. Mm -hmm. Why are they out of order? Oh, well, never mind. Let me see if I can. Yeah, they're out of this order. Be out of order. They are out they're of out order. of order, Robin. Yeah, did you, yeah. Did the you pictures put... are not the order in which. Okay, it doesn't so matter. Well, we, we were if taking somebody it. Somebody wants to do screen sharing. I can say what. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Is, since this was a bonus, we, can look we, at we a don't map. ask ten separate questions. It was just list the ten that are there. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have to. If you've got those ten, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Even if you got the wrong. We all know how to pull up a map of the world and look. I okay. almost said Saudi Arabia for that one. Damn it. We I can't believe I didn't get South Korea. I can't well, believe South it. South Korea was. Yeah, because your son was My son's there. South I've been looking Korea at the map. It's a challenging country. I I've tried hard to map, talk my, my team there. out of that one. All those yeah. little we, islands. We didn't even get the one. right <laughs> continent for that one. Like that was. The I, other I can't believe I didn't get it. I went to the South Korean memorial. South my son. We're not used to looking at maps like that. That's just it's a, a, a lot of times when you take a country out of its context. Yeah. It, and yeah, that's it, what it is. A size, you can't shape. compare the size. So, so Susan, mm -hmm. there's a game that you might really like. It's called <laughs> Worldle. <laughs> yes. I love Worldle. I do Worldle every morning, which is one of the reasons why I did this. Mm. Yeah, good yeah. job. You know, yeah. another category. And I always do all three things. You do the Worldle and then you do the all the border countries and then the capital. That's right. You know and what? I, I think it. that's fantastic. Just, I think it's a wonderful <laughs> idea. We all do that, just like I read Lee Wan every yeah. day. But so I'm really I'm learning my African geography, Facebook. which is like uh, really challenging. <laughs> you know, I was yeah, just but it's not worth learning because by tomorrow it'll have changed. It'll have changed. I have <laughs> another it was true fifty years ago. And... I have another category I think would be really interested based oh, wow. on this and just uh -huh. throwing it out there. Taking a taking a country and then you have four choices. Is it have is it or five? Is it been flipped? Is it you know, oh. Like, oh yeah, oh. but you know what country it is. Like it would say Turkey on it, and you have to decide: yeah. is it yeah, wow, is it oriented the way you would is it see it zero, on a map, 90, or... 180, or two seventy, something like yeah. that. That would be really interesting. <laughs> or plus or minus mirror, ten, mirror plus or minus ten mirror, degrees. Should be a mirror plus, image. Plus or minus ten degrees, and then don't make back. it too hard. Everybody will hate you. But <laughs> yeah, it would be so, so hard immediately with any rotation. Richard, the only wrong yeah. one we have is China instead of Switzerland. I gotta guess all these seven But you know, some of them and be, yeah, Thailand have, instead of uh, Myanmar. Yeah, we country have country yeah. to be able to tell. Oh, we have two wrong ones. Yeah. 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 Okay, so we're gonna yeah, have yeah, They have ocean only around. Right. Island nations. So you mean like scores, do the scores. I am about to do scores, but before right. I get to score border country to have to try okay, but technically what's all that talking? Hey Faith and Romero, you mute yourself. All right. Oh. So before I get to scores, I just want to say that I still am missing a category for next week. Well, if you can't get anybody, I can I will. Karen will? Karen got it. All right. Isn't she the best? Oh, the KKKs again. Isn't that oh. nice? <laughs> Thank you, Karen. Okay, here we go. So, scores, right? Okay, you can see my score screen? Yep. Okay. Yep. All right, so let's see. Wait, what? Eight is enough. Eight is enough? I hope they got a 10. Did you get a 10? Yep, eight is what we got. Eight. That's enough. So it so it was enough. <laughs> All right. It so is our lives with love. Rudy's Four Seasons Bill Bonds. Who was in the Who was in the last place for a while? Ten. And oh, oh my god! Oh. Oh. Enjoy this moment. Impressive. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Just take a nice breezy day and thought. If, okay. if this if this changes in a way we don't like, we're going to get a slate of electors and send them. To you. <laughs> <laughs> Rob. <laughs> Easy breezy, beautiful Georgia and peach shade. You know, when when post office one one three five eight oh nine. I have we got five. I thought we had seven. The order didn't matter, remember? 
But I think we only got five right. Then make it six. No, tell me. Because <laughs> we got <laughs> Turkey, Norway, Peru, Argentina, and Thailand. So okay, it's five. All right. I, I can't see the answers. I don't remember. Who had two months and plane crash in the Pagosian pool? Seven. No. Eight. Ooh. Seven? Eight. Eight? What? Who was saying eight? Hey, you're not even on my team. No. Seven. Okay. Donnie wanted to play golf today, but oh. he was booked. Okay. Eight. We're eight. We're eight. Oh, no. all the wind. One, Missed it oh. by that much. Oh, could have been more dramatic. One, yeah, it could have been a little more. the wind. All right, see how that works. Yeah. Very clever. Good job, everybody. Thank you guys for coming back and hanging out with me again. I, I sure as heck love that you guys are here, and we're oh. game one hundred and seventy-five. Are you all filled out for next week now? I am all filled out for next week. Welcome back, Susan. I know. Yay, Just about time. Back, I'll be back for another round and then I'm going to go. So, good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Yeah, I'm heading out to Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. 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 Good night.